welcome back to Collider Live, Woo! the best show on the damn YouTube. Oh. Hope your Thanksgiving went really well. We have an unreal show for you guys today because I'm Roxy Stryer, but that doesn't matter right now. Jack Makuga, yeah! Hey, Makuga! My favorite peoples in the whole world. I love Woo! coming back here. I uh, I got in my car this morning and I was like, I was getting ready this morning, and Amanda's like, "What time are you leaving?" And I was like, "Ah, you know, 9:15, 9:17." She's like, "9:22." I was like, "9:22." <laughs> I was just, I just this is a blitz here, no work. She knows yeah. you too well. Yeah. Mark you- Riley, what do you got? Oh my God, uh, so excited. For for my friend to be here, uh, but I wanted to talk to you about you changed the light. I did. You got it. I got it changed. You got it changed. Yep. So what? there was this. I told you on the way in. By the way, I took Roxy to work all, the other day. Wait, hold did on. you show her? Mark, yes, Mark, I showed her. Mark and Josh, <laughs> you've been gone for like a year. You come back. You are doing unreal things, and this is what you. This is what you've been waiting to talk to him about. Oh yeah. He got yeah. a light change. Yeah. Do you? Un- okay. So I our called room. every day, twice a day. Yep. Our route finally got in touch with somebody. What was are you effed. even talking about? Our route was effed on the way in into the work. And so there was they put in a new light and the light was off. Oh. It had 20 seconds for you to hit that green. 20 seconds is not a lot of time when especially you're in LA. Especially in the afternoon. Yeah. Especially in the afternoon. So, he called and he complained twice a day. I mean, I called, I Who left are messages you uh, the L- Los Angeles Department of Transportation, the LA DMT. Yeah. And I, I I just kept calling and leaving voicemails at different hours of the day. I finally got a hold of somebody and they were like, "Oh, you." Yep. Wow, they knew. <laughs> I just I was I, leaving voicemail after voicemail, email after email. I I sent a freaking letter <laughs> to an address. Can I Wait. tell you something though, Josh? What's that? You don't live here anymore. No. Why do you care so much about this? Well, because at that time, I was so upset about it. And listen, once I get a bug in my butt, <laughs> I, know, I am going all for it. I just, but this, here's the thing. You're really busy about, these days. About three or four days after he had left, it changed. And I went, wait a minute, there's no traffic here. Mm-hmm. What's going on? And that light turned and I started counting. I started counting. 20 seconds came and went. 30 seconds. About a minute, we were back to normal, and traffic henceforth has been removed from my tr- my. And you're route. the one that's updating me because I haven't m- had to make this drive. So this I afternoon, tried, yeah, I texted you. Well, I you know who doesn't have time to deal with any of this? A man with a baby, Cody Hall. Everyone, <laughs> hey! beautiful segue. Cody, checking in. How was your bingo Thanksgiving, Josh? You're gonna love this. The well, that Cody does. I uh, I had a lot of squares filled out in my bingo, but I did not actually get bingo. No. I was pretty bummed. So he plays bingo with things that the family members will ask him, like every year. Give examples, Cody. Stuff like what's a podcast? <laughs> uh, what do you do for work again? Yeah. How's your drive in the morning? Mm. <laughs> who are you? Unbelievable. <laughs> I love the ends with who are you? I can't you? believe you didn't bring us your board, though, <laughs> I'm Cody. Sorry. I'm sorry. I have it on my upset. phone. Uh, also appearing today, Alex Marzonia. Alex. Hi, Roxy. Hi, Mark. Hi, Hi, Makuga. Hey, Alex. I I know this is. Hey, Alex. Uh, (laughs) He's psyched. Alex is psyched. Um, (laughs) Hey, Alex. (laughs) So, Alex, uh, I was told when I left the when I you know left Collider Live permanently, not like permanently, but like every day, semi permanent, semi permanent, semi permanent marker for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like a whiteboard. I think I should be back full time. I know I can't give away anything. Anyway, so (laughs) I can't say I can't say anything. Uh, Literally got don't say elephant. Literally got an email from an executive because I had to get it cleared to even come on the show. Mm -hmm. Wow. Who'd you get it cleared by? Like an executive. Executive where? I can't say that. Oh. You thought you were going to trip me up. Yeah. Roxy's like, I'm yeah. going to say it. I'm going to say yeah. it. And then she's asking questions. Well, I'm nervous. I'm going to give it away. So I'd yeah. rather him do it. Yeah. No. Th- well, oh, so what? you're trying to get him yeah, to do it. Yeah, baiting him. Oh, okay, and it. then I get yeah. fired and you yeah. take my job. Perfect. No. <laughs> No. I didn't think this through all the way. Yeah. Continue. Go. Mm-hmm. So uh, when I left, I was told Alex was working on a theme song, and I still hear the same Collider Life theme song. I gotta yeah. be honest with you, samezies. Oh. oh yeah, it's been very busy. Oh okay, very very uh, busy times. Does Alex have a girlfriend now? Oh, oh breaking question. news, Alex. Hold breaking on, news. Guys, hold, on. Oh, hold on, guys. Okay, I just got friend zoned. Oh, Whoa. oh. Alex. <laughs> that was. That wasn't breaking news, wait, man. Wait, <laughs> Can you wait, elaborate? Can you, What's happening, Alex? What was that like? No, she's she's going to another country, and so it was like... <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Wait, but is that getting friend-zoned when somebody's going to another well, like, country? I, and, and the fact that she told me, let's just be friends. I was yeah. like, oh, no, no, that's right, being that's, friend-zoned. That's, yeah. Her going to another country has nothing to do with getting friend-zoned. Well, it's like, oh, I don't, I don't have, I don't want to commit the time, you know? 
Yeah. That's great. Nice. I'm sorry, Alex. Wait, it's Alex, is this again. the same girl that you like really dug? Oh yeah. 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 I mean we're still we're still gonna hang out. We're still hanging out and stuff. But as like friends. make as it friends. out? But as friends. No. No, no see, you, yeah. Do you guys want to know how unprofessional I am right now? Is I totally forgot I had gum in my mouth until 10 minutes into a live show. You want to know what? I noticed, and in my head I thought, he's too big for us now. <laughs> no, I was like, he's too big Josh, for us. You're, you're talking in a microphone. Uh, so, okay. hey, I, I didn't mean to change the subject that quickly, Alex, but listen. I don't think there's much to talk about. There's more fish in the bad. sea. There's more girls you know, out there. In there's, Los Angeles? W- yeah. You know what, man? You're a great dude. Set your sights where you want to set them, and yeah. your goals will be accomplished. I don't know. I'm not an Instagram quote. I apologize. You know what you should do? You though, should <laughs> put yourself into your work like Collider Live theme song. Oh. oh. You guys like that one? I like that. That's pretty good. Yeah. Josh, pretty good. I know you can't tell us much. Okay. What can you say? Well, I can't. Without me getting you fired because I can't sure. take that job. I can say uh, one thing that Cody had the tweet of the weekend with I just watched the first season of The Irishman. Thank you. Josh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That got me. That, that's amazing. Okay. I still haven't seen the movie. Yet. I tried to watch The <laughs> I Irishman. Watched, I watched it last night. Three yeah. separate times. I am like an hour and 15 minutes into it. I've like tried to binge The Irishman. Yeah. I can't do it. I, I downloaded it from Netflix for my flight yesterday, my, my airport saga, and I watched Dolomite instead because <laughs> I just couldn't figure out how to find four hours for this thing, Mm-mm. even though I had the time. I yeah. thought, I legit thought it was two and a half hours. No. I, we sat down, and Amanda and I. It's 340, correct? It's it's three four three three forty yeah three forty something like that three that's three thirty three nine yeah something like that that is so long that is so many minutes so many hours <laughs> yeah so I had, much I had I had to I had to sort of white lie to Julie to get through this thing yes by saying she's like oh you know we oh, you watched, watched it, yeah though. we watched it yesterday was it good and yeah Cody I really was liked it good it. yeah it was pretty good okay like yeah. It. Oh, Alex liked it. Alex I saw liked it in it. theaters. Oh, you saw it in theaters. Oh, good yeah, for you. but it's like oh, your girl who's a friend. You. When we hit two hours, she looked at me and went, "What is going on? What is going on?" And she's like, "It's almost over." And I went, "No, it's not." Oh. She's like, "Cause I, because I was falling asleep too, not because of the movie, but just because of the long weekend." And she's like, "We only have a little bit left because it's been two hours." I'm yeah, like, no, we don't. We have mm. about an hour and a half left. <laughs> no, I got through no. a, legit an hour and fifteen minutes, then paused it. Uh, a man and I hit over like our long distance binge together. I think we have figured out that a way to stay like healthily uh, in communication and like happy because man, I think Amanda had a really rough time. She said the first ten days were fine, but like the last seven were really tough. Yeah, uh, it's just like that's kind of like the longest we've ever been apart in like the history of our imagine. relationship. It I was, could imagine. It was yeah. tough. And so we we binged Downton Abbey. Like I told you guys, I had started it before I left. Right. And we were like end of season one when I left. We binged it like the whole time we were in New York. So I'd come home. Wait, we're shooting. who binged it in New York? You and Amanda? I binged, you binged it in New York. while she was binging it here. Here. So That's we were really like cute. debriefing Long, episodes. Long distance binging. Long distance binging. I, I think we created that. Yeah. Oh. We created like a nice There's little. There's something really romantic about yeah. that. And we finished uh, the whole series. And then I waited to get back to LA about three days to then we watch the movie together. Ah. So it was like a nice little long distance binge of Downton Abbey. With a reward. With a reward of the movie at the end. So now we have to pick a show for the next run because I go to New York. I'm, I, I know I'm going to be on today and Wednesday with you guys. Oh, mm-hmm. I told everybody all week. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. We need to boost the ratings. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with lying I can't make point. it tomorrow. I'm sorry. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and then hopefully Thursday. Possibly Friday, but I don't know what days you're so on. So it's these kind days. of like the whole. Week I will definitely almost. be here this Friday because we have a massive guest coming in. Yes. So I don't know if we've announced who. Yeah, it is. I, 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 John Cena. I'm afraid to announce. No, because you know I what? I think that. they should announce because then I think it pressures them into yelling up. But we oh. did announce. Again, I'm not above any of these tactics it's, it's anymore. John Roca. John Cena. Oh. We did. We were supposed John. to have <laughs> Mike Ro- Rosenbaum on today. But then, unfortunately, he uh, his grandfather passed, mm. so we uh, we missed him here. But we're working on uh, a reschedule because I did announce I wanted to make that clear because I know some people were excited. But right. Roxy, to your point, do you want to? Yeah, I think we should. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is coming on on Friday. Yeah, which is, really. Yeah, huge. Really excited about Holy that. Holy cow, that's um, gigantic. Yeah, I think that he's just like such a stud and yeah. the, one of the best actors of our generation, yep. and has been in so many different franchises and. Pretty damn yeah. cool. He's pretty, pretty damn, damn cool. cool. So That's I will awesome. be here Friday. This week I will be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, so I'll be I here like Wednesday it. with you. And then more than likely, I, again, I don't know if they're flying me out Thursday or Who? Friday. 
That I can't say. Oh. John Cena! The television show that I'm currently working on. Are you working on something with John Cena? Uh, no. You cannot confirm you this. nor deny. But I can't, I can't say that maybe John Cena will be on sometime in the future. John Cena! Are you working on <laughs> something that has a baby in it? Uh, baby okay, guys, fine. Yoda. I'll give it to you. I'm season two of The Mandalorian. Woo! You, you are season two. <laughs> I'm the whole season two. It's literally uh, him two. sitting on a bench. For and you're just playing with Baby Yoda. The Correct. Whole time. Uh, it's called the Makugalorian. Mm. Everybody knows that. <laughs> the They've Mac- changed the name. <laughs> that works for me. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah. Mac- I can't say Makugalorian. 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 Or you could just do Makugalorian. 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 I think it's just a Makugalorian. Ho- Cody. You don't. Josh Lauren from the booth. The Josh. <laughs> Josh Lauren. Which one of our names goes best with it? Roxalorian, Markalorian, Alex Lorian. No, couldn't even Codalorian? say it. Codalorian. Codalorian. Josh Lorian. That's better than any work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah you're, you're not honest. wrong. You're, you're, not you're correct. Cody. Yeah, my friend Brandon changed his uh, te- his handle to Brandalorian. That's pretty and good. And that actually works. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you saw one episode. I saw right? one episode. Like so it. Here's what happened. So the was, first episode or just a random episode? Uh, I watched episode three just because. Um, <laughs> no. I watched the first episode. <laughs> Who are you looking for? I'm, the audience. Cody. <laughs> I'm looking at him back there. Cody, yeah, you know him. Oh Did you my God. see him like, am I right? <laughs> right? It's a fucking illusion. I don't know what job you've been working on, but nobody's behind you. <laughs> uh, so what did you think of the first episode I loved of it. I thought it was actually really good. Yeah, I um, I didn't know that baby, because I, okay, so obviously I've been spoiled by Instagram and Twitter and stuff of like, there's a baby Yoda in Mandalorian. That's fine. I, if it is what it is. I didn't know that he appeared in the first episode. Oh, yeah. And he is adorable. First of all, that is the most adorable really creature cute. in the history of the Star Wars universe. You can take your porgs and shove them wherever you shove porgs these days, you weirdos. <laughs> but you probably eat them. Honestly, they resemble chickens. They do. <laughs> yeah. Shove them in your mouth. It's kind of rude. Rude. And I mean, everybody eats barbecue. Yeah. We do awesome. eat baby deer and stuff though. So Por- we eat porgs on Thanksgiving. It's a bird. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that baby oh, Yoda. Rough. <laughs> I mean, it's a tough Thanksgiving meal. Fuck. <laughs> I'm thankful for this pork. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Let's there's so many that. of them. I would them. love to see that. There's so many of them. It goes perfectly in with our sponsor. You guys want me to give you a quick read? No. <laughs> That's right. Heroes I... and Villains is a design-driven lifestyle brand for fans who want more. Can I tell you something? HeroesVillains.com. I Heroes had Villains. the most Dot amazing com. transition to talk about Heroes oh, Villains. Oh, no. Did, oh. I burn, yeah. did I burn it? Well, I was really excited because you were asking me what I was doing this week, and then I was going to go into it, but then we started talking about killing the baby porgs, <laughs> and it just didn't feel like the right time to talk about our amazing sponsor, <laughs> Heroes and Villains. Well, I'm clearly the villain in this situation if I'm ripping off necks of porgs for Thanksgiving. Well, I'm really excited about it, though, because we're all wearing their swag right now. They've been sponsored of the show before, and they are back. Heroes and villains, guys. If you like any of the swag we're wearing, trust yes. me, there's a lot more where that came from. They just released Star Trek, Batman, and Joker, and Warriors of Mandalore, which we're wow. talking about right, right now. Right, right. These things are, like, seriously, this is the softest thing I've worn in so long, and after Thanksgiving, I could use this little bit of bigness on me, a little warm and cuddly. Yeah, I could I, use it, too. I, I had a lot of stuffing, guys. Yeah. See, oh, my God, Lord. I don't like bomber jackets, per se, because they usually don't fit me right. But this bomber jacket. It looks dope on you. It's no actually that's fitting the one, really yeah. well. Yeah. I'm yeah. circling on that one. Yeah. I really want that one. I'm not I'm not going to take this one. I'm going to leave it for the for office. Me? For you, you can have it. I kind of feel like I would rock a dope bomber. Mm-hmm. You would rock this. Thank you so much. Really well. I would rock it. Yeah. Guys, heroesvillains.com. Don't put the and in there because it doesn't belong. It's just heroesvillains.com. And like last time, we're competing with the other people here, and mm. we're going to ruin them. <laughs> John Cena! So you get 10%, 10% off your entire John purchase, Cena. guys. Uh, and that is by using the code LIVE10 at checkout. So heroesvillains.com. Use LIVE10. And today, guys, it's Cyber Monday. It's Cyber yeah. Monday. Which means that they currently, I checked the website this morning, are offering 35% off. So you get 10% off that 35% off, which is 45% <laughs> off, which is almost 50% off, which is pretty much half off, which basically means Math. you're getting the stuff for free. Math Math. does check out. Yeah, it's, that does check it's out. It's pretty amazing. Uh, so go to HeroVillains.com, HeroVillains.com, Live10, using the code Live10, and get your dope swag today. I still have my uh, Heroes Villains um, uh, what's it called? Like the camouflage oh, yeah. button down? Yeah, I rock a ton sweet. of their shirts still. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I have a Rebel Scum shirt that I wear all the time when I'm feeling edgy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you're, you're a rebel and you're scum. 
Rebel scum. Call me, <laughs> call me scum again. See what happens. Rebel scum. That's from Return of the Jedi. Josh, going back for a yes, second. Okay. So you know how when I asked, uh, could you tell us anything? Sure. And instead you started talking about Mandalorian. Sure, sure, sure. Um, so is that a no? Well, so uh, <laughs> I, I'm not allowed to, again, I'm not allowed to say anything. I do know that you will know... We will know sooner than later, like more sooner than when I was on the show last time, <laughs> so which was like three weeks ago. Uh, but I love it. Can you tell us about your time? Are you enjoying yourself? Sure, yeah. Are you happy? Um, I will say this. I landed in New York and- uh, That's when Baby Yoda picked you up from the airport. Correct. Me and Baby Yoda. Right. I, I walked out of JFK, immediately walked back inside, put all of my clothes on, yeah. and legitimately was cool runnings. I felt like those guys, like my dreadlock was popping off. John Candy was like, it's not so much the heat as it's the humidity, right? Your it's a what great lock? You know, in Cool Runnings, he, cool runnings. he rips off his dreadlock. He was oh, his, dreadlock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, so it took me a little while to get used to the cold. I ordered a, I ordered a new jacket. I went to like a street vendor and bought hats and scarves and gloves because I just my body. As a Pittsburgher, they're like, oh, come on, man, you grew up in Your the cold. Blood is so thin yes, now. Yes, come on. I just am colder. I'm just colder yeah. in general. Ja feel. Yeah. It's so annoying. It's... I was home and they were like, it's beautiful out. I was like, it is 33 Wait, what did you degrees. Say ja feel. Ja feel. Is that French for I feel you? I don't understand. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Is this like a slang that you learned from your younger Jean sister? Jean 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 Alex, thank you. You're the only Wait, cool one in this room. Jean 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 oh, it's like Jean 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 you really don't know. Jaffiel. This is ma- are you guys effing with me? No, ja this Ro- like, I'm ja like, dude, I don't uh, know what's no, going ja on. No, Jaffiel means like I feel you. Oh, ja I mean, I oh Jaffielia. <laughs> Jaffielia Earhart. Okay. I mean, wait, we've texted probably a bajillion times. I've never texted yes. you J A space F E E L. No. Jaffiel. Nope. Jaffielia. Comments sound off right now. Jaffiel <laughs> yeah, or what's not? everybody saying? Jaffiel or Jaffiel. <laughs> Hashtag Jafiel. Uh, Jafar. Jafiel. That's where I've been going. Yeah, I've just been hearing Jafar, Jafar the whole time. Away, doesn't anybody stay in one place anymore? That's a good Yacht Rock classic. That's how I feel about you. Oh. <laughs> it's so yeah, sad. I think Amanda might feel the same way. Yeah, probably a little more. Yeah. I'm sorry. So I posted a couple pictures, like, you know, from New York, and then I posted a couple pictures from, like, I was in Arizona for a bit. What I was were you in doing there? Stockton. Uh, just hanging out. Oh. If you've never been to Scottsdale this time of year, it's gorgeous. It's got a nice little it desert chill. Desert chill at night. Really nice and warm during the day, like a 70. It's like here because we're mm. in the desert. Um, and, uh, yeah, I went to uh, lovely Stockton, California, which is. Have you gotten any kind of a, a time, like how long are you doing said mystery when? No, you know nothing. I know nothing. John Snow. I mean, I have a, a tentative schedule for the next three months. Which means I will probably I'm not going to be here the rest of December. So like this week and then December, I'm gone and basically until Christmas Day. This yeah. shit is so exciting. It's cool. It's, it's really cool. cool. Yeah, I'm like all about it. Yeah. Did you get to be here for Thanksgiving or were you working? Today? No, I landed uh, on like the Tuesday of Thanksgiving. Okay. Week. So that's when you were doing your your movie watching of Downton Abbey. Correct. We watched it. We actually watched it, yeah that Wednesday night. We had a nice little night in and uh, we watched the Downton Abbey movie and then we promptly put on the Downton Abbey movie again. We Did watched you watch it, it twice. We watched it back to back. That you liked it that much? Are you being huh? serious? I'm swear to God. Well, we hit. fell in love with Downton Abbey. Uh, so you when the show, the movie, in twice. one city, you can't get through the Irishman, <laughs> but you watched Downton Abbey. There's something magical about those what a twist. those uh, those <laughs> Granthams. What a twist! If I mean the Granthams are a, the lovely family from Yorkshire, England. What are they called? The Granthams. That's their last name. Grantham. Grantham and Grantham Otto. And Crawley. Uh, Lady Mary Tolbert as she was Lady Mary Grantham and then Lady Mary Crawley and then she was Lady Mary Tolbert I like that she I'm getting married spoiled. over and over well she, her first husband died spoiler alert she a widow yeah or? she was a widow and then, or, I thought you watched it downtown I mean, you didn't, no I've never no. seen it oh you'd love it it's, I mean it's amazing so, wait guys I haven't asked anybody this before yeah. I do want you to continue but I, I pause on that because what's a widow versus a widower a widow is the woman a widower is the man Oh, so if the wife dies, it's a widower. Widower. Oh, yeah. continue. That and wasn't as fun as Black I Black Widow is Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Now yeah. I'm with you. And also a great pool billiards player from like 90s. Remember the Black Black Widow pool player? Anyway, oh, billiards. Yeah, certainly not. Not familiar. <laughs> yeah, I she know all crazy the girl. billiards players. <laughs> of course. If you watched ESPN back in the 90s, you, they had pool on sometimes. I had a pool table growing up. Um, is that where you hooked up with that dude that one night and then came and told your brother? 
Um, no, actually, that was a bathroom. <laughs> oh, okay. Next to the pool table room. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, thank I you do, for bringing I am, that up. <laughs> I am really enjoying, uh, by the way, the Roxy Stryer family photo, like 10 years, 20 oh, years later. Oh, you like it? You Big like fan. the recreation? Because my dad and I recreated one from the beach a couple years ago that was like my favorite, and I love that you guys this recreate This is our seventh these year in a row, and can I tell you, so for anybody who doesn't know what Josh is talking about, my two siblings and I recreate every Thanksgiving a family photo from like when we were really little kids. Yes. And it is every year a nightmare. Oh, God. <laughs> is, I can imagine. Are you the one driving this? No, no. We all, so this is the seventh year we've done it. Okay. And so you don't, I can't drive something for seven years. I think I initially created it, but now it's like every year we send photos back and forth. What's going to be the one? But this year we were like, let's be casual about it. You know, we'll just, on Thanksgiving Day, we'll go through a photo album, we'll pick one, and then whatever's closest to peril wise. But for some reason, we pulled up. A picture that had my old bed frame in it and we were like wow I think we still have that somewhere in this house oh God, no. and it was down in my basement near the pool table no near it but in the like storage part yeah, of my right, basement right, right. Um, and my dad was like okay I'm gonna help you guys get this but just know there's like a ton of asbestos in here <laughs> and <laughs> We were like, what? Did you put what? gas masks on? Oh, was good. Remember, my house is 110 years old. Sure. Like my, my dad grew up in my house, uh, so he's had it for 60 years. Yeah, but geez. prior to that, there was somebody else who had it for 50 years. And we're talking about asbestos or the house? Uh, both, probably. Okay, got it, got it. So we were moving things, and he was like, just know, like, this this mat, asbestos, this the paint on the asbestos, like, just try to avoid the asbestos-y spots. And Sky and I, my sister, were like, fuck it, we don't care, we gotta do whatever it takes for the picture. I'm All, with you. Also, I'm pretty convinced that I'm gonna die of something else. Yeah. Like, any time that I do anything that's not that bad, I'm like, I've already effed with my body a lot, like, mm -hmm. it's probably not gonna be the asbestos that gets me. <laughs> but my brother's girlfriend, who is, uh, wife, my brother's wife, oh my god, Oh, burn. Not even the fiance. No. He went straight girlfriend. girlfriend. Uh, burn, no, I'm, I'm literally obsessed with her. She's amazing. She's the picture taker every year. Oh, God. And hates it. Yeah, of course. Like, is miserable about mm -hmm. it. And she is a hypochondriac, mm. and she, my dad said asbestos, and she started flipping out. Oh, like I've been staying in this house, How, and there's asbestos. Yes, like holy, I've I've been coming here for six years now. Oh, Why no. wouldn't you have told me that? Like what with the asbestos? And she was just like in a full blown. Pit. Everybody, take your clothes off. We've got to get it in the wash. <laughs> like panicking. And I was like, well, where Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> this is when my mom would be like, all right, calm it down there, <laughs> sweetheart. I, okay, right. okay, okay time for dinner. We're like licking the asbestos, yeah. like no F's given. Um, so we tried to take the picture very quickly. She was not stoked on it. <laughs> <laughs> the asbestos, for, so first of all, I saw on social media this weekend, I think, that the asbestos company, right, the, the, the company was called asbestos. They named a town. Asbestos, and I think it's like Kentucky, like Asbestos, Kentucky, or something Why like did that. They do that. Okay, because the, the town like built was built around this asbestos factory, and they were like, "Well, we just might as well keep it with the brand. Let's call it asbestos." Yikes! Right? Where are you not, from? Not the Asbestos, Kentucky. Asbestos. Not the best. And I think like the title was like Asbestos, Kentucky, not great for tourism or something like that. Or, <laughs> not, shocker. Or like for people moving in and out. Second of all, hell of a gift shop. Though. Oh, amazing! <laughs> if you want to get some Damn. good asbestos. Um, our high school pool had asbestos like spackled throughout the whole ceiling, and it was so old that it was like start falling into the pool, and oh. you have you to were get. A swimmer. I was a swimmer. You have to get the like little skimmer out. I'm like, has the high school thought about like getting rid of the asbestos? They removed the asbestos ceiling like my junior year in high school. I've been swimming in that pool every day since I was eight years old. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. It's not great, but honestly, I try to think about things like. All right, I've stood next to the microwave so many times. Totally. Is that the thing that gets... I did, I, is that a I thing use anymore? The, I use the baby powder, talcum, whatever yeah. shit Ooh. that is giving my vagina cancer. Or uh, yeah. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but I keep hearing the ads about it. Yeah. Uh, but Johnson & Johnson or something yeah, like Johnson, that? Yeah, Johnson & Johnson. Don't about? use talcum. Like all the, Their powder. All of the things that I keep hearing, class, lawsuit... Uh, I'm, that's me. I've yeah. done that for my whole life. So I, I don't think me taking one picture in an asbestos place that I've played my entire life is going to make that's any difference. Not, I mean, if no. you're not sick now, I think it was more like people were getting mesothelioma, which is, I think, we're getting real serious. Because I've watched enough Salino and Barnes commercials. <laughs> right. Um, oh, my God. Or whatever. Same here. Same. I can't. Law firm. I can't. Yeah. yeah. I think it was the, the people that were that were removing the asbestos that were getting sick and they weren't using proper 
like face gear. Yeah, and I'm not trying to remove it. I'm just trying to roll around in it. Yeah. I'm fine. If anything, that's <laughs> what ha- I think we were getting sick from the asbestos because it was falling apart and then the particles were getting in the air. It wasn't like if the asbestos is kept together, I think you're fine. Again, you know I'm not what, a scientist. I just wear heroes and villains. Heroesandvillains.com. Nailed it. <laughs> Heroesvillains.com. Live 10, get 10% off. That's what to call a read. I'm three weeks rusty, but you know I'm nailing those reads. Also, Jafiel. 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 Before we Jafiel. cut to commercial, Mark, how is your sister's oh, Lord. Well, Thanksgiving? Yeah, okay. I, I am mostly thankful that nobody saw the giant dump Leia took next to the table. <laughs> next to the table. Oh, no. Next <laughs> to the table. Julie how did you looks get rid of it without anybody noticing? I, I ran and got – Julie went and got some uh, cleaning stuff and, and something to wipe up. I grabbed a puppy bag, a poop bag. While everybody was in the kitchen serving themselves, we took care of the poop. It Can was amazing. Can I ask you a real question? Yeah. You, but I'm only going to ask if you promise you're going to answer honestly. Okay. You promise? I promise. Have you ever picked up dog poop with your hands? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I've gotten close. She pooped. I didn't have a bag. And so I found one of those uh, magazine uh, um, yeah. uh, in, inserts and I folded it and picked it up and was like, ew, 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 ew. Yeah. So close. I never have. have but you? no, no. I've, I don't think yeah. I've ever done that. If I don't have a bag, that shit ain't getting picked up. Yeah, just, but if it's, it's next just, to the Thanksgiving just gonna have to, table and yeah. you can't find a bag, I just can picture you being like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But uh, uh, scoop, otherwise... Scoop it a poop. Yes. <laughs> scoop it a poop. Otherwise, it's it was scooping. good. The whole family was there. We lost a few people. Like, Julie's dad ended up getting called into work, which sucked. So my mom know, didn't get to Do you know what meet. it sounds like when you say you lost a few people? Uh, yeah, well, we, we lost the She was tough for the we rise. Lost a few Midway people. through dinner, mom, uh, she ate the bad bird. Yeah. And, uh, it was an asbestos-filled turkey. And bad exactly. bird, bad bird. <laughs> so, but, what you going to do? We ate really late because it was very interesting having it at my sister's. No oven. Oven doesn't work, so we had to cook from you three had, different. You had no oven for no Thanksgiving. Oven. We grill? had the oven. No, no grill. Huh. No, no. Wait, so, what the fuck did you do with your turkey? So uh, Julie's mom made the turkey at her location with an oven. With an oven. Oh. We made our mac and cheese and our pies and whatnot at at our location, and then we all went to my sister's house and served it. Your sister has no oven. Yeah, they're working on it. I know. I, it was a big thing for me. It was. I was like, why are we doing it? Then at at the house, okay, cool, 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 cool. We'll just go with it. Sure. So, but is her place under construction, or they just <laughs> made made a home with no oven? They they just moved into the home like they two months ago, no. and so well, the oven does work, but it's wrong <laughs> temperature. And it doesn't cook evenly, so you have to keep turning it. So, oh, so there is an oven. But it, it, so you it, lied it, to us straight up. It, but we're not using the oven because you don't want to really burn the food. Backtracking here, right? Yeah, you you are don't right. want to burn the food. Yeah, Whose fucking story is this? 100% right? I'm hearing you here want, with an oven. Do you want an entertaining story or do you want, like, science-based oven stuff here? The oven doesn't Please work. Text mm. your sister get her to take a picture of this <laughs> upset oven. Yeah, can I get that, actually? I don't know. Well, I can let's show find you. out over commercial, guys. We're going to go to break. We're going to come back and talk all things news, including Birds of prey. Uh, also, birds Avatar. of prey, like we like just, turkeys. We just did it. <laughs> or porks. We just did it. I'm not gonna be better than that. We we'll were talking about birds. Minutes. It's fine. It's bad fine. birds. Bad birds. What's gonna do? Like, what that should be the birds of prey theme song. Do. Bad birds. Bad, bad birds. birds. This is new. Alex, you seeing the shit? Oh, oh see it. Yeah, that's cool. We got a new break, Alex. Oh! Hey, that's my tag! A bevy of get Nope. Collider was spelled wrong in that last one. Spelled wrong in that one. 
Uh, at Colider Live. How embarrassing. Colider. Alexandra Desplat was on. That's his entree for lunch. Multiple is times in the same sitting? No, no. Yeah. Like, Welcome back to Clyde Alive. Continue, Josh. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Our, our good friend, uh, co-host of the Afternoons with Josh and Ken, currently Josh, or uh, Amanda and Ken. She's crushing. Um, yeah, she's doing well. Yeah, she's, she's having a blast, too, yep. which is fun. Um, I've been to lunch with Ken a couple times, and, you know, like, I don't like to eat big during lunch, just like a small salad or something. You've had lunch with me multiple times. Anything, like, hot and warm, like, anything that could slow me down, because I'm already tired by the end. I'm I've a big napper. tried to go with you to B-dubs many times in the yeah. middle of the day. You will not do wings. Will do it. Destroys yeah. your day. Yeah. So, but Ken, I've gone to lunch with a few times, and he's ordered, like, mac and cheese for his entree. I'm not judging anything. Yeah. I just know for myself that... I can't eat mac and cheese for lunch because I'll be asleep 20 minutes later. And that's just multiple times. Ken will be like, oh, yeah, this, oh, mac, I'll have the mac and cheese. This is why he we're friends. He loves mac and cheese. He found, yeah. out, cheese. he found out that Julie has a special recipe. He was very concerned that I had not told him about this news. And so <sighs> he, asked for, he yeah, asked for updates, which I did. I gave him probably at least 15 updates of the creation of the mac and cheese for did Thanksgiving. Did you save him some? Uh, No. <laughs> Rude. I asked, I asked how. This is, um, this is one of your groomsmen yeah. in your wedding. Yeah, this is true. Is really this rude. is true. Uh, so we are going to make some oh. for him. Speaking yeah. of updates, I asked Dorian if Jafiel and Dorian Jafiel. So oh, okay. just to be clear, I'm, well, I'm young and hip. I Jafiel. Yes. Oh. Whoa. Wait, the, Dorian, are you in here or was that What's a up, guys? Your boy Dorian. No, it's okay. It's a soundbite. <laughs> but we did, up, we did up, put guys, a poll up Dorian? on Collider Live's Twitter at Collider Live. Does anyone feel. <laughs> Hashtag Lighter Lives. Je feel, je don't feel. We've got 15 amazing votes on it. Yeah. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't end up seeing the results. Oh, je feel. 
Yay, Jean Fields winning, guys. Okay. By probably about three people. That's, I mean, nailing. it's three, it's, they're winning, it's 75%. It's crushing. Yeah, with all, with all <laughs> 16 gonna, of I'm... our. <laughs> 16 well, votes, guys. Oh, 16 votes. Whoops, yeah, it is. Really yeah. killing it. Go vote. Go one of those polls vote. you just keep scrolling. Have you by the way, ever had a background check done on you? Uh, yes. Yes. Have you had one? Yeah. When I worked at Children's Hospital. Okay. Yeah. I just had one done. It, Were you concerned by you it? You all right? No. Well, <laughs> I will say this. Did I it didn't not realize, work out for you? Well, they first of all, the funniest one that they brought. So, like, this company does it for this show, obviously, which something, obviously, Saturday Night Live doesn't do because right. they keep hiring people and then right, firing right, right. them for racist tweets. So, but for, so you're not working on SNL? I'm not working. Oh, but for Mandalorian Season that. 2, yes. they do the background Mandalorian check. Mandalorian Season 2, yeah, they yeah. did the Disney background check. Mickey mm-hmm. Mouse uh, annually searches me at the border, that kind of stuff. There it Strip is. Strip search. You know, sticks his fingers in your butt. Just to be clear, <laughs> Mickey Mouse anally searches you at the border? The border between Disney and the rest of the world. You mm, know, there's a Disney I thought you meant the, the New York border where you've been. <laughs> well, that, that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't know they shot joke is Mandalorian <laughs> yep. in New York where Disney anally uh, assaulted you at the Mickey border. Right at the border. Oh, yeah. Anally assaulted you at the border. Yeah, right at the border of yep. New York and it's on the Brooklyn Disney. Bridge. other tri-state <laughs> places. <laughs> Anyway, no, get you. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Have you been anally searched, searched at the Sir-chewed. border before? Alex wants to know oh, on Twitter. Great question. <laughs> Choice one, sure. sure. Choice two, nah, nah dude. dude. <laughs> Choice three, Jafiel. She put that for like a week. Yeah. Yeah. See what happens. Ja, no, ja yeah. only has J A. It's just J A. Come on, Alex, you stupid. He was the one who knew it too. Oh, good. Um, That's good. Remove poll <laughs> yeah. or reply. Interesting, interesting debate. Okay, so okay. continue. So uh, first of all, they, the one of the things they brought up in the background check was apparently there was a change.org pet- petition a while back to have me removed as the host of Collider TV Talk because I didn't like Supergirl. A oh, word. Word. Hit it. Okay. I love petitions on me. And the, the pit- petition was literally called Remove Josh McCougar from TV Talk. Now, this this company has You've no idea it. who I am. Oh, my God. Right? Oh, it's so just, this it's came a company. up on your background so check. Thir- they sent me a whole, like, packet of my background check. Oh, Lord. Then I had a couple, like, a couple things on YouTube that were, like, from my personal channel that I had already taken down, so it wasn't, like, a big deal. And then I had no idea. Like, the, I, first of all, Twitter makes it impossible to delete old tweets. That's why people get in trouble because you How can't. How does it make it impossible? You can't – like I can't scroll past eight months ago normally. Like you have to get special access from Twitter to go in and delete old tweets. You have tweets. to do a service, right? You pay for that. Yeah, uh, which I didn't know. And I mean some of these – none of the tweets are bad. Like there was a couple Trump tweets and maybe that was stupid. And then there was one uh, that like t- was totally misconstrued, yada, yada, yada. Anyway. For where you're working, you're not allowed to have any political tweets? No, no, not that. Oh. I just think like – I mean I think if it was an Obama tweet, I would get – you yeah. know, but it was they were negative tweets about oh, Trump. Okay. It was like during the 2016 election. Anyway, I had no idea that people hated me this much on Collider Live on one particular service, and that is Reddit, because I never go on Reddit ever. Oh wow! There was like three pages of Reddit hate threads about singularly me. What the hell, man? And really? All about Collider Live. <laughs> I think I made ah, it. Shit. <laughs> Wait, tell me more. What the uh, hell? I was gonna bring it in, and but I don't know if that's legal. You, bless you. Thank um, you. But like, I was getting just ripped to shreds on Reddit. Like, F Makuga, his movie takes are stupid. Uh, he he knows nothing. Just like, go do your own thing. That's what you wanted to do forever anyway. Get him off Collider. He's ruining the show. I get the same thing. So, um, you know, I, I didn't know that my hatred on Reddit because when I look at Reddit, it's kind of like Jeff Feel. I, I look at Reddit and I'm like, I don't understand what I'm looking at. It's just lines of thread. It looks like an old GeoCities website. Yeah. And then you got to say, and I don't know where it goes. And I understand that Reddit is important in our industry. People keep trying to do it, keep trying to get me into Reddit. Ellis and I talked about it the other day. It is literally looks like, Wait, but a, a, like a confusing book written by Cormac McCarthy. When they do the background check on you and these things pop up, what they ask you about it, like why do people hate you on Collider Live so much? No, I think they just produce it for the company that I'm currently working for to look at and be like, hey – you know, this is what's said about him online. And I haven't been told one way or the other because none of it's like, you know who I really hate? I hate the whites. The whites are the worst. You know who else is worse? The Asians. I hate them too. Like, it's not. Yeah. Was that you imitating potential you one day? No, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> saying. Whose voice was that? That's, I don't know. Some idiot racist. Yeah. I don't know. Makeup voice. But yeah. you want to know uh, the lesson from this and. Uh, I'm sure there's a bajillion of them. I mean, my my but my background check. I thought 
I was like, I, I've never really tweeted or done anything like really bad. But there was like a couple responses on YouTube where I was like, you know, maybe you should shut up, stuff like that. Like where yeah. I kind of got antagonistic because I was like, I'd had enough. But yeah. the, the thing is, what I hope people at home realize is that they have power. Yeah. And when you say mean things about somebody that they should get fired, like that could have potentially prevented you from getting your dream job. Mm-hmm. And that sucks. Like you are a really good person. You're not going out there and doing the Mickey Mouse and putting your finger in anybody's butt that doesn't <laughs> want it there. True. And you're not going out there and being a racist, misogynist, homophobic, whatever. Mm-mm. So when people say those things like get them off to that possibly prevents you from living your dream, and that's I can't imagine doing something much worse to somebody. Like I would never that's, want to do that to somebody. That was like the one thing that I got from it was like I've really kind of taken pride in. Okay, so maybe some of the old Casual Mafia sketches were like they're, 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 it's comedy. It is what it yeah, is. It's yeah. not like I went on a podcast and was like, you know what I hate? I hate this person and this person because they're a woman. Right, like it don't. The voice you, you brought do. up SNL, remember yes, when that exactly. when once his butt went You're like there. shithead Makuga alter ego voice is priceless. Uh, but thanks. You know what I hate? <laughs> the He Man Woman Haters Club. <laughs> you know, that I do hate them. They yeah. don't let women in their club. <laughs> they don't. This jacket got a little I've too tried. hot for me back here, but that's yep. just that means it's doing its job. Heroes it's, and villains. It is. It's it's, 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 keeping, it's a hell of a bomber jacket. And I was just told that this jacket I'm not allowed to take because it is Dorian. So, oh, but I'm just wearing it because I, I will say if I was going to, you know, I, hey, listen, you could rep a lot of products, right? I've done a fair share of repping products that I don't, do. their stuff is really good. Yeah. I didn't even know that was one of their products. It's awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, my only point going back before Sorry. we move on to yeah. news is uh, I learned growing up, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. It's fine to not like somebody, but to actively try to prevent them from legitimately yeah it's it's effed up unless they do something really horrible one of the reddit threads was makuga didn't like joker because he's a effing idiot and knows nothing about movies fire him from any job in the future that was a like the a reddit post. Him, yeah i mean i remember i remember for not liking the joker when... i didn't say i didn't like the joker i just said it wasn't for me yeah Dude. yeah i know i agree i agree for so many different reasons it's just like that's crazy. That's yes. crazy. Anyway, let's talk about other crazy things. Let's get to some news, Riley. What do you got for us today? Well, uh, we what talked a, a little bit. What a Monday. <laughs> we were talking about that big Variety article way back last week when yeah. we were talking about Superman and Buried in there. We touched on it a little bit, but they are going to go R-rated for Birds of Prey and Suicide Squad. Okay. And they're looking potentially at those characters to possibly spin off, speaking of Joker, into their own separate movies, but R-rated, does it surprise you that Birds of Prey is going to be R-rated? You know, it's interesting because they don't often introduce a character in a not R-rated movie and then give them an R-rated spinoff. It's happened before, but not often. Was Suicide Squad, the first one, was that R? No. That was PG-13. Yeah, got it. There was talk at one point, so, I thought. But. but Harley Quinn is a relatively R-rated character in general. You could make her R-rated. Mm-hmm. She's, I don't think she has to be the way that people think that somebody like a Deadpool needs to be. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, she's like a, a crazy-ass bitch. So, for sure, she could go into that R-rated territory. But of the rest of the Birds of Prey, I find her to be the most R-rated, and we've already introduced her as a PG-13. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. It, it's going to be interesting what they're doing with them. The Black Mask storyline mm-hmm. is is this for violence? Is this for some so sensuality? Is this for what? What do we think of the R rate is coming from? It doesn't language. say much. I bet I it's going to be language. a little bit of language, maybe a little bit of the gore and stuff from the action that's going to come out of it, but maybe mostly language. It doesn't really say. It just says that they're looking at it for this. Suicide Squad makes a little bit more sense for me as a, an R rating. James Gunn comes from that world. And the the actual... Uh, the title itself kind of lends itself. Yeah, just the premise of it. Mm-hmm. The fact that these are a group of people who have bombs that explode in their head if they F up because they've already been such crazy villains. Mm-hmm. Like, that's pretty raunchy. So, I, I don't know. I think that if it serves the story and the character is fine, but I don't want them to just be like, Joker had an R rating and that did really well. Maybe R ratings are where it's at. 
What, what Josh? Like. This is the most concerned I've ever seen you about any superhero news ever. Well, first of all, I haven't talked about movies with anybody for a while, so I'm, yeah. like, I'm kind of like I'm getting my traction a little bit. I'm just I'm thinking in my head. You okay. need a refresher course? No, no, no. Knocking first the of dust all, off. I'm I'm really. Well, that's ups- condescending. What? Um, do you need a refresher course? <laughs> oh, my yeah. apologies, sir. I'm very sorry. I didn't really take it personally because I don't take anything personally unless you try to get me fired on Reddit. But um, <laughs> that's personal. <laughs> personal. Um, no. Okay. So. You, we were here when we reviewed that first Birds of Prey trailer. Mm-hmm. Okay, the Birds of Prayler. Birds of Prayler. I like. Is that yeah. Jurassic Park? The puns sound? are back. Oh, I think that was just a hawk. It's a bird. It of prey. is a hawk. Good job, John. <laughs> Thank you. I know my Birds of Prey. Da, 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 da. We need. Wow. Name one hawk character in the DC universe. Hawk girl. There we go. Yeah. Fucking nailed it. Thank nailed you. it. And hawk and man. Hawk man. Because they were brother and sister in Arrow. Or Flash, one of the Bird Legends of Tomorrow. It's tough because they were, <laughs> Birds, they, were tomorrow? they were hardcore in love and not brother and sister. Oh, and right. it was Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> there we yeah, go. Yeah. Woof, but that's yeah. what you took from it. Yeah. When they were effing each other. Hey, yes. it, worked, it worked for Luke and Leia. MB so. on that one. MB. It didn't work uh, for Luke and Leia. That's the whole problem. You're right. You're right. Continue. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, you're right. So, and I, I'm kind of upset that you didn't like the fact that I think we should get a remix of like the Bad Birds, Bad Birds, and like they're, they all do like a music video because I think they need a little more promo that's singularly birds of prey because I think what we're getting at with the birds of prey is we're like a lot of people that were soured by Suicide Squad were like oh, this is another one of these because yeah. Margot Robbie who was is absolutely pretty much amazing in everything she does I finally watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood absolutely love that movie isn't that great love that movie um I have trouble sometimes with Quentin Tarantino's like alternate history of how things ends, but I love how he does it every time. Like mm-hmm. you know when they blew up Hitler and then they you know they lit the Manson people on fire. It's a shame they didn't let Charlie Manson on fire. Anyway, that's besides the point. This Birds of Prey I think needs like a little bit of a separation from these franchises. So you liked R rated because it gives it the edge. Agreed. I think that we saw what an R rate R rated thing can do with the Joker, mm-hmm. right? I think that if we go with this with a little less like. We're just birds of prey. And it's like hardcore violence, action, like making these girls bad freaking ass, like showing blood, having them swear, totally sexual. I'm not saying like sexualize them or anything like that, but if they're going to be villainous women, be villainous women. Own it. Yeah, I agree with that completely. The one thing that I don't. I don't think they're going to do, but that would make me nervous is this is the first uh, female multi-group centered DC movie in this new uh, incantation. incantation, yeah, however you want to phrase that. And R-rated, it could be language, it could be violence, or it could be sexuality. And I think that if this becomes R-rated because we've got all these women at the helm and that's and it's going with the these are women who fuck whoever they want, do whatever they want. Like I don't need to see multiple sex scenes from these women. No, I don't think so. Either. I don't think that's what they're doing. No. But that when I heard R rated, I was like, I do hope that this is because Harley Quinn is ridiculously violent and careless and swears like a trucker. And, I'm with that. And not for any other reason. That's why I said sexualized. Yeah. Totally third. I want violence. I want the language. I want this to be what villainous women would sound like. I don't need to be PG-13 on this. And Black Mask is a mobster, so we've got all that stuff totally. going on too, drugs and... Like, do you, watch, you watch The Boys on Amazon? Of course, right? so obsessed great. with The Boys. Mm-hmm. It's incredible. Um, I would love to see violence like The Boys from Birds of Prey. Yeah. And I know that's... Same. I know that's asking a lot, especially from the but DCU. they have a bigger budget. But if we've seen anything from Watchmen, we've seen some effing violence. Yeah. Yeah, holy right? crap. Spe- so yeah. what what I'm getting at there is if DC has seen a success with the Joker, which again, didn't love, but I appreciate the filmmaking of that all because that was a really beautifully done movie. Just made me feel really sick walking out that I, that I didn't love it. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I wanted to. I told you you wouldn't. I, yeah, you nailed it. Totally on the head. You usually do. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you're you need so a refresher much. course on how good you are? Bitch. Yes. Um, please so, give it to me. So, <laughs> Roxy. Ah! <laughs> Roxanne, we've been G- over this. Give me the refresher course <laughs> on how good I am, please, sir. So, um, I that's what I want to see from this movie is what we saw from the Joker, which is hardcore R-rated badass villains. I don't want to see girls who are like, oh, we could have been villains. No, these girls are gonna kill you. 
They are going to beat the shit out of you, and they are going to kill you. Yeah, I'm probably going to steal all your stuff. All your stuff and murder you. Agreed. Let's talk a little bit of Watchmen, though, because you mentioned Watchmen, and that's where my mind is going now. I know you are not cut up, Josh, so this will be a spoiler-free review of episode seven, season one of Watchmen. Well, we don't want to spoil it for the fans too, because it's morning of. Have we been spoiling it? I'm sorry, I haven't no. been able to. No, we watch usually wait it. until the next day, okay. like Tuesday, yeah. and we you try just, to do the 24 hours. If you want to tell me uh, again, I'm totally fine with certain spoilers, and I'm, and I'm totally fine no. with Watchmen spoilers Spo- because not for this one. Spoiler okay. free Watchmen review because this one is the one, and this is why they didn't show critics episode seven. Right. They didn't show critics episode seven because of what happens in this episode. If you reveal the spoiler of the this episode, it changes the entire season. Yeah. So I'll just say that something massive takes place. Mm. But what I'm talking about, Mark, did you like it or dislike it? Oh my God, are you kidding? This is my favorite. I keep saying this. Every time a new uh, Watchmen episode comes out, I'm like, that's my favorite. But this one, for the reasons that you're hinting at, is my favorite. It's absolutely my favorite too. This it's was just the best episode of the series so far. Absolutely. And it and I noticed people talking online. They're like, the, I, I know there's more episodes to come, but this might be the best TV series all time. I mean, people are so freaking out into it right now. Yeah. Talking, I've seen reactions even online. Even Cody that had a good tweet about saying, it. Saying that they're, Thanks, they Josh. like it even better than the, the actual Watchmen comic that it's based mm. on. It's um, so true to the initial intention. It, it and that's really why is. I bumped into Koi and Koi was telling me that he thinks this is the best comic book show ever but for sure. It took Daredevil's spot from him. Really? Yeah, I, and so and different. To me, I think, I think it's, it's hard so, comparison. So different. But... I, and I love all comic book shows honestly. But this is it's and, doing something really unique. Mm. Mm-hmm. Really I mean, unique. If we're talking about the Netflix ones versus this one, right? I think Punisher is probably my favorite as, yeah. as like an overall season because it had one big bad, and it was the the you know the journey of John Barenthal's Punisher. And super concise. Yeah. It's super concise. Uh, Daredevil season one, I thought was of, of those of those Netflix Daredevil season one, the beginning of season two, mm-hmm. and Punisher were like my three favorite. How by does far. Watchmen stack up? As good. Right now, I think Watchmen is in a class on its own because mm-hmm. it's a completely different show that is that has. I think the hardest part in a lot of shows like this is creating a world, and they've created this unbelievable world. The episode last week with Regina King taking that nostalgia, that bottle of nostalgia, yeah. whoever directed that, I didn't see who directed that at the end, but whoever directed that should win the Emmy. Uh, that, that you want to know what's crazy? Everybody was saying that that was the episode they think is going to be nominated for an Emmy, and it might, but to me, this episode was even stronger. Okay. Yeah. Because we continue to touch upon what you're talking about, but we also world build in a way that we get some answers, yeah. and it's like just mind-blowing. Cody, are you caught up? Oh, yeah. Thoughts on last night's episode? Oh, my God, it was amazing. I haven't been... That surprised during an episode of television since like peak lost. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I screamed at the TV. Yeah, there's just absolutely. Is it like, like Ned Stark what? losing his head? Scream at the TV. <laughs> I guess in a way, it, in in the way that that in the way that nobody saw that coming who didn't read the books. Right. Yes. Perfect way to put it. Yeah, this is something though that it it, it like all clicks when it happens. Okay. You're like no oh oh, and you scream. You, Alex, it, are you ca- are you caught up in watching? Yes, I am. Thoughts oh, on last night? I loved it a lot as well, but all the things I want to talk about are super spoilery, so yeah. I'm going to stick out of this one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, my God, though. I think that they did such a great job. Man, you guys are now. This yeah. is you got to talk about it tonight. They did such yeah. a great job building tonight. tension, and they did such a great job with how there's so many stories they're trying to tell and how they're visualizing those, making it not confusing. Is be- Because this, if I read this script, I would be like, Huh? Right. Yeah. And the way that they're showing it on screen, holy. Because Regina King from last week's episode deserves an Emmy. Yeah. Right. Like, I think from the series. From the series. I think, I think oh, the she'll series. get nominated for sure. But that that episode alone of her selling that. And the the guy that plays the young, her young grandfather, uh, he was in uh, Leftovers. Mm-hmm. He played the son in Leftovers. Um, right. Or the son's best friend or something like that. I Remember? Reg- doesn't she play? Reg- he plays Regina King's son in Leftovers. Doesn't he? Wait, he plays. No, I didn't who see plays Regina King's son in Re- Leftovers? The gr- the young grandfather, the actor that's oh, playing the young grandfather. Um, y- that is playing the Hood of Justice. I think that that might be right. Wow, I hadn't thought about that yeah, until now. It's the, been a while. Plays the son. That yeah yeah. Um, wow, that's crazy. Just, yeah, bring up because Damon Lindelof be. just keeping it in the family. Yeah, he's in. Yeah, why would yeah, he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, totally. Wow, I hadn't thought about that in a long time. See. Um. Anyway. 
Continue. So, so for me, there's two things about Watchmen. One, uh, thanks to Christian Rubalcaba for sending me this like 20 minute video, basically detailing what the, the graphic novel was. Mm. I never watched the movie. I just I couldn't get through it. I think it was like the giant wiener that was always in my face in that movie. Like the first 30 minutes, I, didn't I just mind like, that. <laughs> nailed that. Been a long Winning time. Think. Um, Jafilia. <laughs> Jafilia. Jafilia. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, <laughs> but so, and then I, I never really got in the movie. I don't know why. I just, I, I could, there was something, anyway, regardless. Movie this, didn't work for this you. That's show, this show has hit on a lot of the stuff from the comic book and the movie so well that I don't think that I needed it, which again is the world building and I think like the genius of this show. Second thing is that each episode has been this amazing standalone part of a, of a larger story, if you guys have noticed that, which is why I think when this show is over this season, this will be an amazing show to go back and binge yeah. because you're going to pick up a lot of things you didn't see originally. I agree. The show, the episode where Tim Blake Nelson's character, uh, what's his name? Looking, Looking Glass. Looking Glass is, you know, he gets his clothes taken in the Looking Glass in that in that. Uh, you know, that's fun house. It. yeah, like the us fun house, whatever the creepy place where I don't ever want to go. Mm-hmm. Them hitting on that when and then talking about it more. like a 9 11 kind of a situation is absolutely, I thought was absolutely brilliant. I can't, I can't really describe how much I was, I didn't know what I was going to get with Watchmen and how much I've gotten from it because I was never a fan. I was never a fan of the graphic novel, and I think a lot of people that were maybe have some different opinions on how things are going. But as somebody that came into this not knowing a damn thing, I am so entertained by the show. Agreed. That's great. I Completely uh, agreed. I came in, though, the opposite end, knowing a lot, having mm-hmm. read the graphic novel, having watched the movie, and I'm equally as entertained, and I keep finding that reaction from both sides, which okay. just means that the show is doing really well. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say yeah. the same thing. Coming in, I even grabbed the, the graphic novel that was at my, my mom's house. I'm going to read it again. Oh, Fans I told of you that. I have mine to give to Julie if she needs it. Oh, yeah. Now I'm to give it. it yeah. Now I have it. So, yeah, to be that surprised off of the, the graphic novel. To, when I thought, when I found out it was going to be a sequel to the to the not to the graphic novel, I went. How are they going to do that? And I've been so pleasantly surprised. I mean, that it's gone deeper than I thought it would ever. It go. is a really just a really That's what she said. cool. Oh yeah, having nailed that. Um, nailed that. Really cool having show. Like, yeah. It is, it, and it, we we don't know if it's been renewed yet for season two. Well, uh, this it was is the really thing. Really... I keep talking about season two, but when Damon Lindelof ta- announced the show, he said it was a one season show. So, or that that's what they've been saying, but I don't yeah. think so. I think the show is killing it, and there's so much more story to tell. Thank we you. still have two more episodes left. HBO would be silly to not. Yeah, I think this is their Game of Thrones. Yeah, this is yeah. this is like they could people talk to about episodes it. or three episodes. It's ten, isn't it? And I think it's nine. Oh, it's nine. They could do something similar to Leftovers, though, where we pick up, move locations, change a lot of our cast members. Totally. Yeah. And and go two and a half years in the future, and it wasn't it like two and a half years in the future. And this season one to season two of leftovers. Season two, and then season three we jumped again. We so. jumped again. Yeah. Yeah. That There's a lot so of different good. things they could do. Let's see what other news we have to talk about. Wait, though. just real quick, I pose a question to the table. Yeah. Sorry. Is this, it a Watchmen question? Yeah. Well, it's more of a Damon Lindelof question. You, I can't believe I didn't realize that was the Sun and the Leftovers, which right? Was my favorite show. Yeah. Um, do you think that Damon Lindelof is like? The greatest TV mind working right now. Do you think like, da- like before in Damon Lindelof and after Damon Lindelof? Because that's kind of how I look, I look at it. People have their losts, they have yeah. their leftovers, they have the Watchmen. But when he does a project, Damon Lindelof just does. Well, see, I feel something like unlike different. Ryan Murphy, uh, who I actually think is amazing. Oh, as I well, don't disagree. Yeah, absolutely. He Damon Lindelof clearly oversees his projects start to finish. Uh-huh. Whatever that means, even if he's going to die on his lost sword with the fact that he didn't know what was happening at the end. I actually don't mind the finale, but he he stayed there the whole time. He doesn't hand off. So I think that that gives him the edge because his projects are his mother effing projects. Yes. Yeah. No, I agree. I mean, Ryan Murphy has his hand in so many different projects, but there's no way he can oversee all of those. Same thing with Shonda, you know, totally like a lot of the greatest creators of our time. They have so much going on. But Damon Lindelof seems to focus his energy on one thing start to finish. Do you remember, though, when he did Prometheus and Prometheus came out and people did and so much hate was sent to Damon Lindelof because of that? He directed. He didn't direct. He wrote it. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did a version. Yeah. The alien prequel movie Prometheus. He was a part of that. 
that. He got a lot of pushback. I feel like this is like coming around where he's really found his voice even more so, if you can believe it. It just hitting that right moment because I didn't see Leftovers. I heard nothing but great things. But when Lost ended, I felt like Damon Lindelof got a bad rap and it carried over to Prometheus. And now it seemed it, it's just really nice to see that he's nailing something and fans from the series and about him are, are well, happening all together. That's a shame because he nailed Leftovers in a way that a show has not been nailed ever before. Yeah, see, I got to see it. Uh, but I, You'd love that show. I yeah. don't know. To answer your question, Josh, I don't think about it like BCAD, yeah. but I do. He, If he's working on a TV show, I will be watching it. Mm-hmm. If a show is his, I will. I'm signed up. I'm like, he, he hits me in like the perfect... You know, mental space. Heady, but not too sci fi y for you. A little right. bit, but not crazy. Correct. Like, total builds a world that I could see happening, but doesn't worry me. It's not so heady that it's Legion and I'm totally confused. I know Katie, Cody and, and Copster hate when I say that, or is it just Copster? Uh, I love that show. Yeah, correct. So it's he, just Cody. He hasn't seen it. Yeah. So Cody hates when I say that Legion messed with my brain because I just didn't understand the show. I'm just not smart enough for that, or my my, my brain just doesn't work like that. Dam- Damon Lindelof, T- he violins me perfect yeah I, I agree he's excellent uh riley moving forward what do you got moving forward somebody on twitter pointed this out to me i want to get your take on it robert pattinson was doing an interview and he called batman not being a superhero did you hear about this i did hear about this did you also see what he did in that interview yes he pulled a mark ellis he did he took out his gum threw it in his water and then drank his water yeah excellent you want to know what though this is old news i know i i, I bet people are talking about it still. i know i saw that uh and i also saw not to throw any shade. I don't mean it in that way at all. But the reason I saw people talking about it is because I'm in SEN's Facebook group, uh, as support to our friend Christian Harlow. Yeah. And I saw that they titled their video that today. And oh, I was they did. like, okay. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, he said that a long time ago. Because, he, and maybe he reset it in this thing, but he's been talking about Batman for a while. And mm. when we've, uh, and anytime. Uh, people said, is he a good guy? He said, I do not look at Batman as a good guy. I would not play a character that was just a hero. Um, you know, he said it in, in a bajillion different He's, ways right. at this point. So I guess some people were surprised by this, but I was like, Robert Pattinson has been pre- preaching this since he was cast. Right. Here's the new wrinkle to this. He said, "It's uh, I always balk it. I'm like, it doesn't count. You need to have like magical powers to be a superhero. He was more of a superhero as Cedric Diggory than he is as Batman. Right. So, yeah, there yeah. it is. He had magic powers. Yeah, but he's always he keeps talking about Batman's just a person and he's a flawed person like we all are, you know? So, I I like the way that he's looking at this. I, do too. I appreciate that that he's going into this with a different mindset. They say and you guys know this because acting class, they say that you're not supposed to judge your character and nobody's supposed to think of themselves as anything but human and whatever it is. So he's not judging his character. He's looking at him for who he is mm-hmm. as a person. He's not labeling him as hero, villain, good guy. Ba- he's flawed. He's gray. And, I, yeah, I just wasn't surprised by this response. It's so so in line with everything else he said about the character. Yeah, I, th- you know, a lot of people scoffed at the Batman choice. Everybody's going to scoff at a Batman choice, no matter who it is. Do you know what I mean? It's like when they tried. You're not wrong. Every single Batman announced gets a lot of like, like a scoff. F you. That's not my Batman, yeah. right? It's kind of like if I was cast in anything. I'm somebody would go on Reddit and be like, make sure you fire him. Change.org. Make sure you bring down. Yeah, because he Cougar. deserves it. He deserves God. it. Horrible person. Um, for terrible his human bad being. boy's opinion. Yep. Stupid. Yeah, it's awful. Bad birds. Bad birds. Well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? When, when they, they fly go- for you. Oh, 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 oh terrible. Boom. Okay. So um, answer the question. What are you gonna do when they fly for you? Uh I don't know, probably get killed. Because I'm a too nice of a guy. I'd be like, oh, you know who's really sweet is Hot Girl. Like, I think she just like this. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing the right Hot girl probably kill me. I think a hot girl's one I'd probably fall for. Hot girl. I mean, only if it's fall Sierra in love with. she was hot. Who's Sierra? Sierra Renee was the one in Legends. Oh my God, pull her up, guys. She's a dying. Oh, uh, she had a lot of teeth. She's also, the sweetest human being on the planet. Wait, what? She had a lot of teeth. She had big teeth. Oh, I remember she? from Hot Girl. Sierra Renee. She's a bird's of prey. Sierra yeah. Renee. No, 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 not the one in the movie. Yeah, that's uh, girl. Oh my God, I think she's pull her pull like that. Main I think picture she's up. like just they definitely... the most gorgeous person on the planet. Yeah, she's super hot. She's beautiful. Um, but anyway, yeah. so it doesn't matter. But yeah, who I, plays I would... Hot Girl in the movie? Is that Jesse Smollett's sister? Um, I don't think Hawk we're Girl getting. Hawkgirl is not in Birds of Prey. Yeah. Oh, she's not. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. You thinking Black Canary? Mm, nah, that's Laurel Lance. Huntress. Huntress. Ooh, Huntress. Who's that? Uh, like the character. She... Who's no? Who's the actress playing her? Um, 
Uh, the the girl that you just Chelsea Smollett's sister. No, that's Canary. Um, what what is her name? Her name is uh. You guys tell me, and I'll be like, oh, Hold yeah. on. Uh, Mary oh. Elizabeth Winston. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank ah, you. Yes. Kind of Wait, I was going to say the girl that was just in, but then I couldn't think of the movie I just saw her in. What yeah. was the movie she just rocked it in? Mary Elizabeth Winston? Yeah, she, uh, I just saw her in a movie, and she was Not Once excellent. Upon a Time in Hollywood, but... No, um, no. guys, I am Gemini Man? Gemini Man? Yeah, she was in Gemini Man, she and was. she was excellent. Yep, she was she's also on Ladies Night here on Collider Video with Perry Nimmer. That was excellent. Thank you. All right, Mark, talk to me about Avatar. Avatar yeah. has finally Avatar two. We're actually getting it. Wrapped filming, everyone. You're and upset he, about he, this, Josh? <laughs> it's. Yeah. I said, talk to me about Avatar, and Josh looked like I had killed his unborn child. I well, just, I think it's it's interesting to say Avatar two is finally wrapped principal photography because how long have we been talking about Avatar two? Is that what you're talking? Is that your face? Because it's been it was dated like supposed to come out this year. Then it was pushed, and then it was pushed, and then it was pushed again. So here we are. I just it's want James wrapped. Cameron. He's so genius. I want him to start a new property. And Avatar being his lasting legacy and not Terminator or Titanic. I, I mean, with whatever you say. But him going for four Avatar movies. Yeah. And this being James Cameron's, like, sword that he's going to die on being Avatar. It's Fern Gully. The movie is Fern Gully. It's not. It's cool. It's visually cool. But it's not. It's just not my – that's not my James Cameron. My James Cameron is Terminator. My James Cameron is Titanic. Like I My James just, Cameron is Titanic as well. I I thought that Avatar was like the most fine thing I ever saw. Thank you. The, yeah. It, and I think it was groundbreaking for what movies could be totally. Yeah. I get why visually. But the actual story was like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. It's like a Cinnabon at an airport. You know it's going to be good. But that being said, smells good, Josh, looks good, I tastes think, good. It's just good. I think we're going to like the second one better because I think James Cameron knows that, and he's not going to be able to accomplish visually what he did the first time in such a groundbreaking way because he knows what he did the first time. It's going to look. There's going to be more advancements, but it's going to be kind of similar. So I think the story is actually going to be better than the first. Do one. Do we think that the story doesn't end buttoned? And that it plays into the next one like oh, do we yeah, think for this sure it doesn't have a happy ending like this is the thanos snap and then everybody's still dust well i don't know about Spoiler that alert. but if we're talking well, who's how snapping? many movies he's making thanos yeah, but who's snapping in this movie no i'm just saying like does it end, end yeah sure sure does it like end her. and avatar land is under on fire well, it's and the second move? movie we're gonna get four four i was told yeah. Right? So why do Avatar I th- one, why two, do I three, four, seven? and five. Seven avatars? I think I we're getting five. Five avatars. Guys, how many avatars? I think there's five. No, I'm total. legitimately confused no, we were told as to how many. Cody, how many avatars? Any we're thoughts? On we're on it. Stand by. We're on it. Alex so if, if you think Avatar two, if we're talking middle trilogy, middle See? story, five, like we have five. Yeah, five. Five and the total. Last one's in twenty twenty seven. So maybe right. maybe more we're gonna get a cliffhanger at Avatar four. More uh, importantly, guys, by twenty twenty seven, will I be uh, able to be a mom? Yes. How old are you now? Twenty six. You're able to be a mom now. So I think nothing has changed. You think I'd be a good mom? Thirty five. I think you would, Roxy. I and do. I know He's people think it would give you shit because of what you're liars. doing, and, and you play into it and you lean into it. But you, the minute you have a child, you would be a fantastic mom. You'd figure it out. You would figure it out. Wow. Okay. So let's live our lives in terms of avatars for a second. So okay. where are you guys going to be by 2021? December 17, 2021. Yeah. Josh, uh, are you going to have a kid? Uh, probably. Riley. Probably. Cody, yeah. you're going to have a second one. <sighs> Yeah. yeah Alex, will you have slept with somebody? Uh, I think it'll be 13 years by then. So okay. Probably. Oh God. All right. Oh God. Alex. Oh, help us. 2023. Will we own homes? Yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. 2025. Yes 2025. Homeowner. Homeowner with two kids probably by then. Wow. Yeah. Amanda At wants least. two. 2027. Yeah, I'm done at two. Any Emmys? 2027. I'll have three by then. Oh cool. Yeah. Just checking. Yeah. And, uh, and life in well, terms of Avatar. An, I'm getting an Emmy for my role in Mandalorian too, Macugalorian. You're already getting yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, They've yeah, already yeah. pre-nominated. Unseen. Mm-hmm. Un- sight unseen. Didn't you, did you see the billboard on Sunset for your considerations? Just Makuga-lorian. He's wearing that jacket, weirdly enough. We already decided Crazy. it didn't work. Stop trying to make fetch work, Makuga. <laughs> Makuga-lorian work. works. Riley, what other news we got? Somebody make a picture of Makuga-lorian. He's an airy be... guy with no helmet. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to be a little bit selfish with this uh, next news. Shoot. Okay. Okay, because I want to talk about it. Oh, no. Oh, it's the E.T. thing? Yes! <laughs> 
I knew it. Sorry, Cody. I yelled. I didn't even know this took place until this, this morning. This is what it was so upsetting to me that Roxy didn't see it until today. And what did I do, I Roxy? I saw it on your Twitter. I cried. Again. Yeah. So I went home for the holidays. I haven't been home in over a year. Whoa. So I was, like, not paying attention to E.T. phone Thanksgiving. Unbelievable. I, just not. Unbelievable. Not my jam. I love E.T., but that's not what I was doing. So when I came in today, he was like, did you see the E.T. thing? Hmm. I thought it was going to be, like, E.T. sequel or Thank God it's E.T. Not. TV show. Or Thank something. God it's not. And he was like, no, it already came out. I was like, what came out? The commercial. Yeah. What? <laughs> So yeah. I watched it. Seeing th- the people were talking about this thing all day. I know. I just okay, told go. you I wasn't go. looking. I know. I watched it and I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, thank God. It was. Did, have you checked it out, Josh? Yeah, yeah I did, dug it. Cody, Alex, you guys saw this? Yeah, of course. No. C-T. What? Yep. Why? Have yeah. you? Did you hear of it before this moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw it all trending and shit, and I was like, ah, I'll watch it later. Yo, this was adorable. Saw <laughs> so it's all trending Haven't and shit. Haven't watched it yet. Riley, go, go ahead. Can't really help much. Sound off, Jeff. I'm really sorry about this. Cody. Truly embarrassed. Will you watch it with me after the after the I, show? I got a thing. You got a thing. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? What time you want to watch it? We can watch it at twelve. Yeah. <laughs> How about one? Nah, I'm busy. You busy? Yeah. All right. How about tonight? I'll come over and show your child. That might. Nope. I can't. Can't. All right. Mm. You son of a bitch. Sorry. Here's. When I will you show it. Grant E.T.? When will you show Grant E.T.? Nah, I mean, pretty young, probably. Yeah. yeah. Hey, before no, ten, I would say. Okay. You're not allowed to watch. You're not allowed to watch things before you're like uh, a year and a half, right? On the TV? Yeah, right. Like hurt your eyeballs? Yeah, he yeah. He watched the NFL Red Zone channel no, wait, yesterday I'm for a very serious. long time. Wait, wait, yeah. Did fathering. Christian tell us this? Something about like you can't watch well, no, I mean, like kids. your eyes and stuff, right? No, no. I mean, my little niece Cody, and nephew is that watching true? stuff. Huh? I heard something about that. I think initially it's okay when they're born, but once they start to know what they're watching, you don't want them watching the TV too much at a young age. Yeah, because yes. of their eyeballs. Yeah. I know things. Yeah. I dream See, you'd be I a great mom. Things. I'd be an excellent mom. Don't watch. <laughs> Avert your eyes. Cover the eyes with. The... <laughs> Riley, go ahead. Tell, tell us why you loved it so yeah. much. Yeah. Well, I love. Can you I, break it down for I the fans? I loved it because E. T. comes back. Yes, it's a commercial. Yes, it's going to pull at your heartstrings. But it like commercial was, for what? Wait, I changed com- my mind. You can only talk about this for as long as you can rhyme about it. Continue. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to rhyme because I cannot. Rhyme. This time. Not this time. I okay, I'll rhyme with every sentence you say. Go ahead. Okay, so E.T. comes back for a visit to Elliot and meet his family. And then it's quite the meaningful Hamily. This is going great. <laughs> God, that landed like, <laughs> n- like nails on a chalkboard for some reason. I was going to say, it was not my jamily, to be honest. <laughs> it wasn't your jamily. I mean, so e. a tough word to rhyme. It is. Right. Like, so, well, well, well Riley, we know Riley's not great with like uh, the sentence game. No, like, I can't play. I can't rhyme. <laughs> no, I'm, it's okay. Keep going. I'll okay, play so Elliot, uh, Elliot sees E.T., introduces him to his family, and they, okay. they have like an, a little mini adventure. They build a snowman. They He takes Elliot's kids for a ride on his bike. Oh. Uh. And nobody got hurt, so nobody had to say, yikes. Okay. All right. We'll give so, it to you. So, and it's all about, and then. Psych. And then there's a little moment with E.T. sitting in in, in the room. And also, uh, he falls over playing with the Zoom. Okay. What's the I was going to say also in the room to help clean up would have been a broom. That'd be, no, but that'd that be, wasn't that's in there, though. And Elliot has a moment where he sees E.T.'s family, and they have a moment together, and he hugs them. And then he hugs and then, him, and but he, he keeps... It looks like he has not spent much time at the gym. That's true. Mm-hmm. He got a little chubby in his face. And sure. So, well. so <laughs> it's all okay. about... it's okay. and, and here's the plug the score, for, the, okay. for the thing. It's Xfinity or something, some uh, internet, or and it's Reconnect. And so uh, we had a little five-minute sequel to E.T., and what sold it for me was, uh, was uh, Henry Thomas reprising his role as Elliot, and when he sees E.T. again for the first time, he's like, oh... It just got me. It there's got a me little. Well, there's a little part of Elliot that's still connected to ET, no matter where he is. You know. And that is Josh why Josh Kapuga knows we Reconnect. should always be his. <laughs> I have never heard a silence, Roxy. Let me more just, deafening. Let me say something than that. Thinking. Can I tell you though? Like he clearly doesn't get the game. Well, no, what but they that's okay. To stick to the, uh, no, no. Well, we know Roxy Riley's not great at improv games. We know this. No. It's okay. I, Mark, but here's what Mark, I said. You sit okay. in the room. You play the game. It's the new. I rules. was playing the game. I was giving you. Oh, the, that's the new rules. I was giving there was you no rhythm the to prompt. You. Yeah, but you would say like 15 sentences. <laughs> well, because it's ET, and I'm really excited. Which is why you should have write it. Yeah, that's. 
See, Roxy, here's the here's the thing. How this goes is I didn't a, even get Alex to laugh on that one. Yeah, uh, well, Alex oh is he's grown up. He just got friend zoned. He's he's come. He's turned a corner, and he's now right. dark Alex. He has gone full heel Alex. Ooh, he, bizarro Alex. He's bizarro email e- email emo <laughs> email, email Alex. Email <laughs> Alex at that work. Dark Alex at gmail dot com. Emo email emo <laughs> email 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 email. Emil. I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> well, we that's not it. shocking, Roxy. Because <laughs> let me just say, haven't been on the show for a few weeks, and I come back to this gold. You, my lady, have not changed one bit and don't ever change. Yes. yes. Is that my yearbook? Yes. Did you just write it just in? Wrote it Henceforth, in coming back around, it. took her to work one day. Still, I said, pay attention. Still, no? Did you use that route on your way today? Oh, I thought you were doing the rhyming thing still. No, no, no. I don't want no, to do it like I, that. I went by your new green light, red light thing, and uh-huh. he drove me. I can't figure it out how to get back to the outpost. I know. It's been a nightmare. I said, he you told want to me film to write it, it take some pictures? Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this treatment. Yes. I'm sick and I'm sick tired and t- of your Riley, treatment. Riley, what else do we have? Uh, we can t- <laughs> Let's talk about this. The cat's director. <laughs> what he responds do? to the trailer backlash. Oh, uh, no. What do you think he said? Uh, I didn't read the quotes, Mark. I'm sorry. Purdy, purdy, really please like my movie. What, yeah, you know, do shut you... your meows. <laughs> now we're talking. There Roxy. we go. Purdy, 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 purdy. So Tom Hooper, speaking with Empire. Wait, says, Tom Hooper directed this? Yeah, he's directing this. You know who Tom Hooper is? Of course. Oh. I mean, I've heard his name on here before. I don't know oh, what yeah. else he's done, but I know Lame what... is Lame is wrong. Oh, no, uh, never King mind. Speech. I th- oh, King Speech. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. So I was just so fascinated the because... The way you say it sounds like King's Peach. You know, King's it's Peach? King's Speech. King's Speech. Wouldn't it be better? A King's Peach? <laughs> yeah. The whole movie is about this peach. The peach. It's James yeah. and the Giant Peach sequel, The King's Peach. Right. <gasps> James grows up and becomes king. king. Duh. Everybody knows that. Oh, I really like James and the Giant Peach. Can yeah, we all do. So James and the Giant's Peach was... <laughs> Giants Peach. I just changed it James to a the Giants. Giants Peach. So yeah. it's a giant. Okay. Anyways, uh, Tom Hooper says I was just so fascinated talking about this backlash because I didn't think it was controversial at all. It, it was quite entertaining. Cats was apparently the number one trending topic in the world for a good few hours at least. And then he goes on and says we had only finished shooting in March, so all the visual effects in the trailer. Thank you. We're at a quite an early stage. <laughs> just keep going. I love that. It's my favorite. Possibly there were in the extremity of some of the responses, some clues in how to keep evolving the production. When you watch the finished film, you'll see that some of the designs of the cats have moved on since then. And certainly our understanding of how to use the technology to make them work has gone up, too. So he says, basically, don't blame this. It's on the effects. Wasn't Maude telling us there was an issue with... Uh, oh, I saw Maude was on. Yeah. I, in yeah, in the history the of the show, I never was on with Maude. I, I know. I love Maude. I know. Maude's amazing. amazing. She was fantastic. And you want to know what? The fans loved mm-hmm. Maude. Yeah, Maude's mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Get she, her on Maude. Uh, 100%. As much as she'll come on, we'll yeah. have her on. Oh, yeah. But wasn't she telling us that so they were upset that somebody... I don't remember who is playing a white cat, and, they were, right. and that's... There was controversy oh, is it like there? white face on a black person? I guess so, yeah, they, but it's a cat. It's but it's a, a cat? cat? Yeah. Wait, Idris Elba's... No. He's, he's a black cat. I, I don't know. I Yeah. She, Do you guys I, even know? I, I didn't even look into it because I was like, wait, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, white cat and black cat. So they they put the black cat's cat in white face? Sort of like the uh, the hit Hood of Justice, how he The made real his... cat's controversy, their whitewashing of Francesca Hayward. Oh. Oh, cause she, oh I see. Yikes. <coughs> Not Wait, good. I can't read that little. Yeah, you mm-hmm. got it. Can you zoom Almost in? Almost 40 years after Cats first arrived on Broadway, Andrew Lloyd Webber's musical is hitting the big screen. When the trailer was released on Thursday, the overwhelming response was one of deep unease. The film was described as creepy, bewildering, and like a demented dream ballet. It's your own drugs. When I you're like watching. I like a good demented dream ballet. Me too. Uh, I don't think any of this is in the trailer. Oh, nope, they zoom back out. Zoom back in. Hook it up. And the trailer was that uh, of Francesca Hayward, principal dancer, was the Royal Ballet. She is one of Britain's best known ballerina, and this is her cinematic debut. But even ballet fans would struggle to recognize the mixed race dancer in her feline reincarnation. Guys, I couldn't recognize Taylor Swift. Yeah. They oh, look, I can. She, She's the best musician we have. She was artist of the decade in no, the American I'm saying musical. In her cat thing. I literally could not recognize Taylor Swift in, in her cat thing because you're dressed as a cat. Is Anne Hathaway a cat? 
What makes oh, no, you say that? I thought that was Anne Hathaway. You thought Francesca Hayward was Anne Hathaway? Just like real quick, I looked at the screen and it you looked like, like Anne Hathaway. You had like a yeah, little accent there too. Is, is Anne Hathaway, Hathaway a cat? cat? I heard that. <laughs> yeah, you heard it? 100%. <laughs> oh, surely be finding Anne Hathaway is a cat Top nowadays. Of the morning, oh, she's a cat, eh? Top of the morning. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not it's not my thing to talk about, but uh, that one kind of confuses me. It confuses me too. It was not the most controversial thing that took place uh, in, the in the last cat. week though. No, there's been a, a lot of stuff going on yeah. in the internet over Thanksgiving, um, Riley, Melissa Benoist. Melissa Benoist, um, did you see she put out um, a very powerful Instagram story, a very powerful statement revealing that she has been, you know, uh, a victim of domestic abuse. She didn't name uh, who it was, but uh, everybody uh, created the hashtag, I stand with Melissa, came to her defense, or not defense, just came to her support, and um, I found it very, very I, it was powerful watching her video for me, at least. So what this do you was think, it was a fifteen minute video, and it came out. I saw it on Thanksgiving Day. Did you? Is that what uh, I, that's I, came when out? I was, saw? It. Amanda was watching it on Friday. When okay, we were so home. I watched it on Thursday. So at least it was out on Thanksgiving, mm-hmm. uh, and I had no idea what I was clicking on. Somebody tagged me in it, and then I I clicked on it, and she's reading. Uh, uh, she's written a speech. She's prepared it, which I think because of the church makes very a lot hard. of sense because she wants to yeah. make sure she's hitting all the things she needs to. She wanted to tell people, but also interesting that she put it out on Thanksgiving, uh, and I'm really impressed by her that she was able to come forward to everybody and talk about this because I think that especially with domestic abuse people usually have a picture in their head of who this is taking uh, happening to and that picture isn't always somebody like Melissa Benoist and she's our supergirl mm-hmm. she's yeah. literally she is supergirl and, and I, I mean I may have said I don't like supergirl it doesn't mean I don't like Melissa Benoist I just right. didn't really the show never really hit it for me yeah regardless so yeah I, I hope to, you can't make that no. I no, understand that's, where you're coming from yeah. no but the internet stupid. believe you I'm me sure the internet will. will make the connection uh, yeah I, I, you don't like supergirl you don't like sh- I, yeah. I thought that she did such an excellent job with this I feel distraught and depressed that she had to go through what she went through yeah. and I feel very hopeful for her future that she is trying to bring this to light, help other people, and probably herself as well. And right mm-hmm. now she is engaged to the guy that uh, that's in Supergirl, right? The, uh, married, I believe. Yeah, oh, she's, she's married. Chris Wood. Yeah. And he Who plays did put out... mon mon Yeah, he put out his, his own tweet over Thanksgiving, Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to kiss my wife and hold her tenderly all day and every day. How do you show love? I stand with Melissa. That almost made me. It's like it's beautiful for for him to just be there and say well, something. Well, because it was like the ex husband that was the abuser, right? So, yeah, so she didn't she yeah. didn't say who. What she said was this. Per, the the hints in there are I was filming a movie at the time that the phone was thrown at my face, mm-hmm. um, and that the person is younger than she is, and that it was years of a relationship, um, and obviously she was living in Los Angeles. So people have put the pieces together, thinking that it is her ex husband. Um, his name is Blake. Jenner. Now, I don't know that to be fact, it but is. that's what people are saying. And I think that if it's not him, then she certainly like would have probably said that because everything that she said about him makes it point towards him. So mm-hmm. I would have to assume at this point without slander or uh, defamation that it is probably him. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, and if it is, it's yeah. him. you think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah. If it is, uh, I, I sincerely hope that he is not working in Hollywood Correct. for for any longer. I, it's uh, I mean, you know, go away. You, go you, away. You have to. You, I mean, you, you can't need help. kick the living shit out of your wife and still expect to be Correct. praised by people. I yeah. mean, go away. It's it's horrific. And hearing her stories, it, it sucks that she had to do what she had to do to be believed. But I think that the way that she described everything, I haven't heard one person be like, there's no way that could be true because she went into such detail and she recounted the stories uh, top to bottom and talked about multiple different instances, situations, Holy jobs she could shit. not attend. Look at that. He was cast in that decades, the film that will go along for the next 20 years, that he was Blake Jenner, that he was supposed to be in that movie with Rick, Richard Linklater. Well, he was also in Linklater's um, Everybody, Everybody Wants Some. Everybody Wants Some. Yeah. Um, crazy. I mean, like, if you do some six degrees of sec- separation here, Tyler Hecklin, Superman, yeah, right, the star of Everybody Wants Some mm-hmm. in some respects. I mean, there was multiple stars yeah. of it, but you know, he was one of the stars of it. Uh, obviously, you know, has worked with M- Melissa Benoist. Um, you have 
I, I, like the, the hard thing about well, this all. He was also on, uh, uh, Blake was also on Supergirl, which, yeah. mm-hmm. where mon also is, her husband, current That husband. is crazy. Mm-hmm. And it was really, at the time, fascinating because fans were on, I, I remember because I have done coverage for the CWDC sure. shows for so long, they were really, there was a lot of uh, backlash to the fact that she got such a fast divorce and and was with a new person who was on the same show. Mm-hmm. I saw a lot of hatred for that, but like the truth is you never know what somebody's going through. And again, if this is him and she was getting physically assaulted by her husband, then leave as fast as you can mm-hmm. safely and fall in love with whoever the fuck else you want Thank get you. into a new exactly. relationship. The hard, the hard part is with, with this situation is that men that do this are extremely emotionally man- manipulative mm-hmm. they are fear mongers and they will li- they will destroy you physically yes but even worse they will destroy you mentally because you'll think that you can't live with them and you can't live without she them. talks about that in the video how yeah. she because P- she addresses the fact people wonder why i didn't leave because i i literally it wasn't the truth but i had convinced myself i had nowhere or no one to go to mm-hmm. and and yeah i i can't believe that she had the strength to put this out not that i know her or doubted that from her but it's a huge huge there is she gains nothing from it no. it's a, a huge public thing now and everybody was talking about it and that's got to be really challenging but i hope that it gives other people strength to get out of the situations that they're in if they're not healthy or safe situations and what's a shame is it that this blake jenner guy will go on like either denying it of course he'll deny it because she didn't come out and say it was him and two he won't go to prison like men like this should go to prison they really should they should be in prison yeah yeah, absolutely. I'm, and also the audacity and and balls, in a bad way, to be with somebody as famous as Melissa Benoist, who has a platform, yeah. and be so sure that she's never going to out you, that you are throwing her through drywall, mm-hmm. like knowing that she has some people don't even have that platform, knowing that right. she has the platform and feeling so safe in with how ugly you are as a human that she's never going to tell on you. That goes to the mind games you were talking about. That disgusts me that yeah. a human could be like that. Yeah, he, yeah. He's so convinced that that he could do this and get away get with away it. Get away with it, obviously. And yeah. for a while he did. Um, my, I, got in I, a, mean, I, guarantee, I guarantee you she didn't come out and say it because she doesn't want to be sued for slander. But I think it's not slander when you have proof, which I'm sure proof. she does. But I, I got in a little bit of an argument with my brother about this when this came out because he obviously believes her. It feels horrible for her. But he was like, I really, really wish he said she said his name. And I said, I wish she does whatever's part of her healing process, yeah. whatever the F that is. Because if it's not helpful for her to say his name and that's not the point of this for her, then – she should not. Well, the flip side of this whole thing is, I, and I and I totally get what you're saying. If she says his name, he gets lawyers involved. He goes on TV shows. He denies it. Mm-hmm. He drags her name through the mud. They are now reconnected as a people, because, yeah. and that's the last thing that she wants. It's about She's, her healing process correct, moving she forward. wants nothing to do with this guy. She doesn't want to be part of his life. This is clearly like it's taken her so long to even come out and say this stuff when she was getting beat up five years ago. Yeah. yeah. And... Um, and she could have easily at this point never said anything, and I, I that's why it's so impressive that she did. Yeah, she got totally. out of the situation, and she still wanted to, as a public figure, be like, this is what happened to me. And I think if you're— And a, on Thanksgiving. Yeah. You're a woman, um, and I'm sure Monel, what's his, what's his Chris name? Chris Wood. Chris Wood. Chris Wood. Chris Wood. I'm sure he was like, listen, you, you do what you want. I guarantee you there wasn't a part of his body that was like, you need to go do this. Right. This is like, this is a Melissa Benoist thing. There's yeah. nobody else. This is her world. This is, and we as people, we don't, we don't, you don't have to do this for us. We don't need to be anything like that. This is for you. It's not our prerogative it's not, to know. It's, it's not. not our, yeah. But if she thought that the healing process would, hey, I'm going to come out, I'm going to say, you know, this guy beat me up. He abused me. He physically abused me. He mentally abused me. If you're out there, there are ways. That I didn't think that I could and people help me. If you don't think you can, think Again, like go for someone, even if it's just the police or something like that. There are people out there. There are services out there. There are you have friends, you have family. There are people in this world that will gladly take you in and help you out because men like that. I mean, they deserve to be in prison. Like I said, they deserve to be in prison and they deserve to get 
whatever happens to them in prison. Yeah, I completely agree. I don't know if that goes as part of the hashtag Me Too or where, where that fits in Hollywood's bullshit, horrible things that are happening, yeah. but it definitely deserves the attention because she is not the only one out there no, in that situation. Yeah, definitely uh, not. So congratulations to her that yeah. she has made it this far and is now in a position in her life that she feels like she can share that and I was just so impressed, so impressed by her. Who are these dudes? Yeah, uh, pieces of living shit. Man, woman, otherwise, whoever you are, if you are a domestic abuser, I... I have no, I, I have no patience for it. Yeah, no, there's nothing. It's just horrible. On that lovely note, uh, let's go to commercial. <laughs> We're going to come back, guys, and we are going to take some calls. Talk to us about ET if you want to get on Riley's good side or whatever the hell you want. Ask Josh questions. Let's see what we can get out of him, right? <laughs> Make it big. Make it big and make it big and make it big. Make it big. And then we'll watch it. And then we'll watch it. Hey everyone, this is John Roca. My name is John Paul Jones. Hey everyone, this is John Roca. What's up guys, it's your boy Dorian. What's up guys, it's your boy Dorian. What's up guys, what's up guys, it's your boy, what's up guys, it's your boy Dor. Yeah. 
What's up? Welcome back to Collider Live, guys. I just got in our live chat, which we're trying Same. to do a lot more here recently. Darina is oh. usually in the live chat, but she's not in today. She's on her way back from uh, Thanksgiving or whatever, whatever Mexican thing. She was she was not calling it Thanksgiving. She kept tweeting. I like, know. I don't know like, exactly. Like let the darkness what she eat me or whatever yeah. it was. But oh. so she's not here today. <laughs> but I said in the chat, sounds Darina-ish. I said the first ten people to say they love Collider Live get shout out on air. I don't know why I said that, but here we go. Uh, shout out to Sam Heppo, Glenn Caesar, who's the most generous person alive, Brian Fernandez, Boom. Matt Link, uh, I Love Pork and Chicken, Boom. Alexander Kazanecki. How many have I said? Yeah. Uh, Square Screen Entertainment, Boom. Boom. Alan Usletton, Boom. Jay Boom. Scott for Real, Garth Boom. McMurray. Boom. That's got to be 10, right? But yeah, I think you hit 10. Okay. Well, Boom. so many in here, and I love you guys all. Well done. Uh, Marzonia also said it. Thank oh, you, good. Alex. Did you need the shout out, Alex? <laughs> Yes. Did, did you want to take that from Validation. somebody? Validation. Can I give uh, a couple quick shout outs real quick? Yeah, yeah. I would love that. Uh, one, uh, shout out to Cody Hall for crushing Rumor Mill. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And, yeah. Uh, I, dude, I... I've really enjoyed, I've, first of all, the first thing you said was, and hey, welcome Christian Ruvacaba. I don't know why Josh wouldn't have him on. I'm like, oh, great. Thanks, Cody. <laughs> I, like that. I would say like he didn't want to be there. So I was yeah. like, forced him to be on the show. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, but you, <laughs> sure, you, sure. You, you've been crushing it. Congratulations on all that. Uh, you guys, I, when I've been able to tune in because to watch live, I have been either from my hotel room in some random city or New York. Uh, so uh, you guys, I'm, I, listen, I love you both. And I think, and Darina as well. I, I mean, I like Darina. It's fine. We're still not friends. Acquaintances. Uh, acquaintances. Good, good, good. But you guys have been doing awesome. I'm, uh, this, this, I love being back here with you guys for sure. Wow. We yeah. love having you. And miss my, you, dude. Really I miss you guys. Nice. And my yeah. third shout out, uh, if you guys have the Showtime app or you have Showtime on your TV, my best friend uh, was best man in his wedding. His name's Tanner Novlin. Uh, he is on a show or he's on a movie called My Best Friend's Christmas. And mm-hmm. it's it's streaming now on the Showtime app. I think it's Showtime anytime. And then you, it starts airing on Showtime tomorrow. So if you guys want like a fun Christmas movie, uh, check that out. Nice. Uh, I, I, I put it on my Instagram story. I tweeted it too. So congrats to my buddy Tanner. On uh, on the Christmas movie, it's pretty cool. Awesome. Hell yeah for Tanner. Also, Alex in the chat right now said, "Hey Roxy, are you ready for phone calls?" Yes, Alex Marzoni, I'm ready for phone calls. <laughs> All right. Thanks for asking me there. Uh, let us know when we have a call today, because we have Josh here. I think he'll do this with the fart sound. Oh. You want the fart or you want a bird? You want the hawk? Hawk. Mm, hawk. Not the hawk. Yeah. Our very own. By hawk the way, boy. What is going on here? These microphones smell like this, somebody's like, inner butthole. We were away How do you know what an inner butthole days. smells like? Well, Mickey Mouse sure does when he's anally searching people at the Disney oh, border. Oh, you think he sniffs his fingers afterwards? <laughs> Weird move, Well, Mickey. he's got those gloves, so he probably like takes his gloves on and off. He's got fresh gloves. Ha ha, Pluto, ha ha, smell my ass. Do, do you think that's what happens when somebody's fingers are in Mickey's butt? Ha ha. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> If it, it got, doesn't, does he it would be weird. It got weird. If he was just like, Mickey oh. Mouse? just got weird yeah. in my head. Like his, oh, his voice only dips uh, for butt uh, stuff. Uh, oh. 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 River, using the whole Caller, fist there, Doc. you're on Collider Live. <laughs> What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Brian from Miami, Florida. Hey, Brian, Brian, happy to have you. I didn't think I was going to be the first caller. Holy shit. Well, you yeah. are. You're crushing it, Brian. What do you got for us today? So uh, let me just say, Makuga, um, I want to apologize to you for, what was it, like a few weeks ago and all that stuff when I tried to call in for, like, to win tickets for New York. Okay. And I said that you would poop, that you would poop yourself uh, for a date. I want to, I want to apologize for that. Uh, it was out of love. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. He t- don't he's know. questioning the, the I call. He, I thought he was going to apologize for writing something mean about you on Reddit. Yeah, me too. That That's what I, I was going there. Yeah. The Reddit hey. guy. I would I would never. I would never shit talk Makuga. Oh, ever. thanks, thanks, buddy. I appreciate oh, Maku- that. Makuga's Maku- Maku- man is my man. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian, I think that I mean, Makuga forgives you for saying he'd poop himself. What do you got for us today? What do you want I, us to I, talk I about? <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to get this. Uh, I wanted to get this out of the way for a second. Um, for 
for every single that like commercial and like teaser and all the stuff that we've been getting for like the for uh, like the new rise of Skywalker and all stuff. Um, I'm like Cobster and I'm and our Christian movie Cobster. I'm like a lot of Good these safe. people that are like I want to just see one trailer and that's it. Yeah. Because anything else, I'm gonna be getting spoiled for the whole movie. I don't care if they're not giving away anything, but. Are you guys like the same way where you just want to see one trailer of a movie and that's the only thing that you want to see till, we, till like the actual movie comes out? Brian, thank you for asking. Yeah, Thanks for the call. call. Great call. Josh, thoughts? Okay, I'm like, I'm really torn in the middle on this one. You okay. might poop yourself if you think about it too <laughs> Yeah, hard. exactly. Okay. Sometimes, okay, for instance, the Bad Boys for Life trailer, January 17th, hashtag don't see Doolittle. Um, <laughs> oh, you've shortened that hashtag. Yeah, don't see Doolittle. It started with sound advice. Uh, go see Bad Boys, Don't See Doolittle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, that first trailer was absolutely perfect. The second trailer gave me too much of the movie, mm. and I don't. I'm I'm kind of bummed that I saw a lot of that movie. And Amanda kind of pointed out to me, she's like, "Well, now I know what the whole movie's about." I was like, "Well, you didn't have to really just yum my yuck so bad, or yuck my yum, as you said." Side question for you before Talk you continue, me. though. Just curious, if what you are shooting in New York is in fact Doolittle. Would you still be hashtagging that and hoping people will see bad boys? The answer to your question is hashtag don't see Doolittle, oh, Roxy. Wow. <laughs> don't see Doolittle. That would be a wild twist. What Whoa, a twist. What a twist. <laughs> Sorry, continue. So, and then on the flip side is, you know, something like Rise of Skywalker. I feel like you, you can, they, you know, they tease a little bit in these huge franchise pictures. You may need more than two trailers. I don't. I don't know where I land. I know that there's a lot of people that are employed, like trailer companies or ex. There are post production houses that just do trailers. This is the artwork that they do. So in order for them to get paid, they have to do multiple trailers. And movies want to keep the marketing going. Like, hey, month later, right. new trailer. Month later, new trailer. I get that point of it. I don't know. Riley. It's hard for me. When you're talking Rise of Skywalker or any Star Wars movie, I think one trailer works. I don't need any selling of it. But when a trailer plays in front of me like it was happening all weekend with uh, with Thanksgiving, I got sucked in. And they had variations of things. They played this one TV spot just added the Duel of the Fates music. And I was like, ah! And I got so excited, right? right. Which one's the Duel of the Fates? It's like, dun, 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 dun. That's it. I love it. It's this one. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. Fates. yeah, this is really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the reality who, who of the situation this, is uh, John Williams. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fates, John Williams. John Williams with an assist uh, from uh, Alexander Desplat. Oh, Desplat, Desplat. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the the reality is, it's it's these big budget things. Are, they're going to market the hell out of them. We're going to get a lot of TV spots, and we cover them, and we do, we 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 add them to show rundowns and all these things. But I only think with Star Wars, you need one. Endgame, you need one. But for certain movies that don't really have the brand recognition, you need a bunch to kind of get because you hit that one trailer. Gotta keep bumping. You got to you get that one trailer that's different, and then that one person on the outside goes, "Oh, I think I will see Gemini Man now." Yeah, yeah. That's it was nice. By the way, bumping. You so got to keep bumping. That's what I mean. It's like bumping the numbers. What? You got to keep bumping along. Uh, you keep bumping it up. It's called slapping. <laughs> the truth is, I will. You feel. It's Jafil. It's not Jew feel. I said Jafil. You're calling me a Jew? Well, you are. Well, you heard that. I mean, I mean he it's said Jafil, but you said Jew feel. So. Jew? Jafil Jew? Uh, I am going to watch every trailer that's ever shown to me. I'm, I'm never going to not watch a trailer. I'm with you. It's just who I am. If something's out there, I've got to see it. But sometimes that bothers me because I find all of the jokes and then they ruin the whole movie. But I'm still going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. So I do wish that there were re- less trailers. But as long as there are as many as there are, I'm going to watch every single one of them. Mm-hmm. Cody, less trailers, more trailers? Uh, I try to avoid them when I can. But if I'm in the theater, I'm not going to like you know close my eyes and play the movie. Alex, like yeah, I don't watch trailers either. But I do actually oh, look down whenever a trailer I want to. Uh, for a movie's trailer that I want to see, I just look down. Name yeah. this movie, Josh. Look down, look down. Les Miserables. Oh my God. Is that right? You nailed it. <laughs> You're yes. kidding me. That's that is, right? It's absolutely correct. How did you do that? It's 100% correct. No, it's not. You guys are lying. No, I swear it's to not. God. Look down, look, look down. down. Do you know why? I don't know why Riley's doing what he's doing fame. right I'm now. I'm playing the guitar for he's, a stage they're, play. They're digging uh, and stuff, but. Okay. <laughs> The reason why I thought that was I was like, okay, that song sucks real bad, and Les Miserables <laughs> is terrible, and I, I imagine you singing sort of like Russell Crowe. Is that a Russell Crowe yeah, song? Kinda, yeah, kind of, yeah. Totally. Down. He's, yep. Uh, is it him? Yeah, it is, right? He's going through the change. 
I show uh, the man. Caller, you you're on Collider you Live. What's your name? Where are you hawking from? <laughs> okay. Cool. Great. Caller? Hey. Hey, it's me. I'm here. Oh, hey. What's up, man? You're on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? All right. It's Parker from Virginia. Hey, hey Parker. Parker. What's going on today? Uh, I'm going to throw a few quick things out there, and then I got my real question. Uh, first of all, uh, Roxy, thank you for never... I mean, all you guys in general, thank you for never shying away talking about, like, the serious, dramatic stories that some people just want to push under the rug. You got it, Parker. For sure. It's part of the job. Uh, second, Cody, you're the best. You make me laugh more than anybody in that entire building. Oh, mm-hmm. fuck yeah, buddy. Same. <laughs> Very true. Same. 100%. Cody for the win. Uh, Producer Riley. Yeah. Um, I know you guys are doing the Collider Star Wars rankings coming up. Are you only taking that online poll you did as a factor or are you letting the office vote too uh yes people can vote so the office did vote what i wasn't invited uh i don't think you want my opinions on the star is it the top 10 star wars movies yeah 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 yeah, yeah everybody voted everybody 10. got everybody got a vote there's but, only 10. Uh, <laughs> but if you can think of however many votes that you get outside of the office i mean our votes just kind of go into the pool. When I did put my one poll out there, I, I sent it, and people were like, "Is this for real? Are you? For, this is for real? Your list?" Even Ken Napsack was like, "This is for real? Your list?" I'm like, "It's for real, my list. It's your list." Parker, yeah. what do you got for us today, though? Uh, just a quick question. We're coming to the end of the year, and everybody's doing their favorite movies of the year. Um, what are your underrated movies of the year? Mine are Fighting with My Family and Blinded by the Light. Loved mm. both of those Ooh, movies, Blinded Parker. by the Light was good. Yeah, thank you so much for the call. I loved both of those. I think that those are great picks. Uh, what's your underrated movies of the year? What are the hidden gems? I think my underrated, it came and went so quick, was Good Boys. I think Good Boys was so effing funny. Uh, those kids were amazing. Little Jacob Tremblay and his and his gang of unruly men were uh, really really funny. I love that movie, and I think the other underrated because people it, like it didn't hit like it should have was Rocket Man. I thought Rocket Man was absolutely brilliant. I just yeah, watched it for favorites. the first time this week, and I did not love it. Oh, wow, man, really? Loved it was that fine. Movie. It was really fine. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, th- I just thought it wasn't as good as Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm. Ooh, I yeah. switch those out. Yeah. I guess. Underrated is different than my favorite of the year, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't think that Late Night got enough buzz. Late Night was awesome. Was late awesome. Night was great. You yeah. know what else? What other movie I just watched, which is similar because they're both Amazon movies, is Britney Runs a Marathon. I, I've heard that's oh, amazing. Yeah. I did not see that. Movie's fantastic. Uh, I also think that we, we've hyped it on this show a bajillion times, but Peanut Butter Falcon, <laughs> I, I think that it wasn't nominated for Indie Spirit Awards, which shocked me. What? Um, yeah. You that's... know, I'm, I'm thinking this movie should have some Oscar push, so for it not to be even nominated there, I was like, Woof, woof. That's a damn wait, shame. Wait, 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 wait. That's not th- one Indie Spirit Award. That's, that's. I don't believe so, Alex. You probably know better than I do. He doesn't, so he's looking at it. Okay, right now. that's what we do when we don't know things. Yeah. We're millennials. Yeah. Got to find it. I'm pretty sure it was not nominated for well, any Indie Spirit Award. Well, that's absolutely awards. ridiculous. Egregious, if yes. it's true. Totally which I believe egregious. It is. Yeah. So that one is underrated then for me. Uh, Spirit Award. Oh, I thought they pulled it up. You guys, let me know when you're so it. Searching. He's okay. researching right now. What is the research? Way to research. Sir? Queen and, in a little bit Queen and, and Slim, out. Queen and Slim, which is getting no buzz. I thought that movie was effing amazing. Really? Yeah, I didn't see it. It's, it's got yeah. no, it got no um, push, and no marketing, no marketing, and it didn't do anything in the box office at all. Yeah. At all, very underrated. Is Excellent it like, film. Is it just like an awesome version of Bonnie and Clyde? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I could tell as soon as I saw the trailer. I was like, yeah. this movie is for me. Yeah, I love this, re- this idea. You'll love it. It's really, really interesting. Cool looking, well acted, well written, has unique twists in it. Cool. It's really good. Love it. Riley, underrated movies? I mean, I don't know. It got a lot of uh, publicity, I'll say, but Booksmart is by far one of yeah. my favorite movies mm-hmm. of the Me year too. that I know it came, kind of came and went, and there was a big talk about, you got to see this movie. And of course, I missed it, and then I see it, and I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. We, we So many people should have gone seeing this, including me. Last it's Black Man in San Francisco I watched on yeah. the plane, too. I that. hear that's excellent. I haven't it's seen really, that. It's really, really well done. I also watched what did I just watch on the tra- on the plane uh, what was I just going to tell you guys Dolomite uh, yes Dolomite it was excellent mm-hmm. did I tell you that or you just guessed you, that oh you yeah, brought I told it up you. Early, yeah Dolomite was so so good that movie uh, I don't is think it's underrated though because a lot of people and then my other underrated one uh, Judy I loved Judy oh, the yeah, Judy Garland movie went, huh? that came and went and she's not just great the movie is great okay. also the report I don't know if that's come out yet but when it comes oh, Adam yeah. Driver movie yeah. uh, just came out 
Uh, it's excellent. I heard the one with the like divorced parents or whatever. Marriage Story. Marriage Story. Okay, I hear yeah. that's I good. Best Al- of the Alex year. has been hyping that for a minute. Seen it twice in theaters and I uh, fucking love it. Wow. Cody? No? Not so much? He just won't shut up about this movie. <laughs> ah, he got it. seeing it I, all the time in theaters. <laughs> keep seeing it all the time. It's coming times. on Netflix I don't know what I was trying to say. Cody, did you find the answer and you said it yep. and I just missed it? No, it's right there on the screen. All those movies there. We got uh, Harriet, Jojo Rabbit, Queen and Slim. Uh, they all what? Peanut Butter Falcons were not uh, nominated for Spirit Awards. Wow. wow. But Jojo Rabbit not being nominated either? I mean, that's That is silly. Ridiculous. That is bonkers. Jojo, Jojo Rabbit. Jojo Rabbit and Peanut Butter Falcon were the best movies of the year, well, so that's... Jojo yeah. Rabbit yeah, will probably get Oscar nominations totally. because of the buzz, and so let's hope that uh, we can put that onto Peanut Butter Falcon and that maybe they can get a nomination. I think maybe the Spirit Awards didn't think that Jojo Rabbit needed the love. And they're trying to highlight m- more, more indies. I don't know. That's stupid to me. That's crazy. Don't understand. Shh. All right, caller, you are on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you hawking from? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so clever, Rox. Hey, hello. Uh, hello. Hey, what's your name? Where are you calling from? How you doing? My name is uh, Calvin. I'm from uh, Johnson City, Tennessee. What's up, Calvin? How hey, are Calvin. you, buddy? Calvin with the sexy How you voice. Doing, Legend. What's going on? You're back. Calvin, mm-hmm. I, you know, You're listen, back. if you didn't call on my first day back, I was going to be really upset about it. <laughs> <laughs> you are back. I'm back, hey, buddy. Roxy, I have seen Peanut Butter Falcon nice. because of you. And did you like it? Yes, I like I like. I like that. I thought it was fine. I'm going to do one of your things. I'm going to say, oh, man, it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> Okay. But, Good uh, enough. I'll take I, it. I'm sorry. It wasn't the greatest. All right. But I'll teach their own. What? <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I will tell you what my favorite is of this year. Okay. And I seen it uh, a couple of days ago. It has to be. It's, it's, it's probably because I'm a big school Scorsese fan. But the Irishman. The mm. Irishman blew me away, man. I okay. loved it. I didn't like the first hour, but when Bettino comes in. Mm-hmm. And he starts doing his thing. He starts yelling. He's he's getting loud. You know what I mean? He starts doing his thing. I, I loved it. See, I, loved it. I think I, it was great. I think I'm just at the point where they like just introduced Pacino on the phone. Okay. And so I'm like, all right. Oh, it's good. It's, well, that's the name of the the book. When he says he says, uh, I hear you uh, paint houses. I heard you paint houses. Yeah, that's the name of the book that the movie is based on. Yeah. It's really good. I loved it. I thought that was great. I, it blew everything else away for me. But I did watch Pete Butter Falcon. I thought it was good. It was fine. Okay. But, uh, Breaking my but heart, for me, uh, no, I disagree with you. Anyway, actually, I even though I love you. Uh, uh, but, yeah, but, you know, I thought the Irish was great. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I had to say. I right on. Say that. I, wanted, I, I wanted to try to get in. While Josh, well, Josh is day back. <laughs> Calvin, <laughs> I'm like kind of obsessed back. with you. Calvin's the best, man. He's the best. Yeah, Calvin, you got that great voice, and uh, uh, it's okay that you didn't love Peanut Butter Falcon. I'm just happy that you went and saw it. Everybody's yeah. allowed to have their own opinion on a movie as yeah. long as they see it. The pride of Johnsonville, Tennessee, Calvin. So, Calvin, you, you have no Johnson no City, Johnson City, Johnson City. Whoa, you did, Josh. You don't get, you don't, don't you mess that up. Uh, I know, I know. Johnson City. That's where the kid ups our favorite city. He, I know. Ken he loves Johnson City. Him, yeah. really? him. Oh, he, he loves, talks good. about it all the time. Yeah. Calvin, so you've got no question for us. You just want us to know you didn't love Peanut Butter Falcon. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't love Peanut Butter Falcon, Roxy. Did you guys gather it? Was fine. It he was said okay. it was fine. It was because he didn't love it. He didn't love it. He thought it was good. I do have a question. Okay. What do you got, Calvin? Uh, uh, <laughs> this is going to be way inappropriate. Cool. Roxy, why are you so sexy? Oh. oh. Get him, Calvin. Calvin. Uh, why Johnson indeed, City, Roxy. city of love. Calvin. The charm city. Johnson City. Tennessee. Thank Boom. you. Thank you so much for calling in, Calvin. The reason I'm so sexy is Take because of my shot. Heroes and Villains sweatshirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> Villains.com. Get 10% off using Live 10 at checkout. Guys, how'd you like that? God, that was I really, really, really good. good. Yeah, that right. was really That's good. That's professional right there. Yeah. But guys, I ate so much stuffing and gravy <laughs> guys. and cake and shit. <laughs> Thank you. That's my favorite. What is that? Yes. A new one? That's like a new one. one. To be yeah. honest, I don't know why I played that one. I haven't played it all show. That's, that's how I wanted to play. That's how I feel ever since Thanksgiving. It's it's been. It's and been I've continued to eat. So. 
Do you want to know why you played it? The rustling it kills me. Yeah. The reason you played it is because somebody said that I was sexy. There we go. And yeah. Josh missed what why the roller coaster sound. Yeah. Yeah. I it's can actual, feel it now. It's bungee I can jumping. Feel it now. Is, is that Perry correct? bungee jumping? That's someone who is at that bungee jumping thing with Perry. Oh, it's get out of here! It's one of the other reporters. That'd be amazing. I, did you amazing. ask if that was Perry? Yeah. No, I'm messing. Come oh, on. Now, <laughs> if that was Perry, my whole heart would explode. Wait, is that Roka? Is Roka there? No. No, it was a different no I have album. no idea who he is. We don't know oh, who it man, is. Oh man, that's amazing. That's so Could good. Cody, let us know when we have another caller. Hawk at us because we only have time for one more. Guys, get in those phone lines. Get on those phone lines. <laughs> get, get in here. To our very last caller of the day, you are on Collider Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Kim from New York. Hey, what's going on? What do you got for us today? So. Finally got to see Knives Out last week, and the more I think about it, I think it's one of my favorite movies of the year. Knives nice. Out, um, huh? Knives. Uh, nice. And and sort of my question is sort of based in that movie. One of my favorite parts was undoubtedly Evans, who plays one of the best on-screen dicks I've seen in a while. I think um, that's that's pretty nice, much par for the course for him. <laughs> And it's just a nice change of pace after 10 years. Yeah, yeah, Chris Evans. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a dick as Captain America, isn't he? Like, he's kind of a dick. What? Mm. No. He's not an Iron Man, man. Like, he's, he's, if you go back to, though, he played in, like, the, in, like, not another teen movie or something like some of those. Here's what just happened. Josh doesn't like Chris Evans (laughs) and is afraid to admit it out loud. No, I I just think he's, like, he's kind of, he's kind of salty all through, like, from Captain America Civil War all through the end of Infinity War and Endgame, he's kind of salty. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? What's that? another Reddit page? Yeah, was another just Reddit born. page. Yeah. Uh, yo, Kevin from New York. I feel like <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't Kevin. your question, though. What do you got? No, but it's cool. I'm just happy to hear Josh back. Hey, me buddy. too. Um, <laughs> you and me both. Uh, but I was gonna say, I mean, kind of like with, with that in, in that like Captain America means well at the very least, whereas in Knives Out he's just a oh okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Like yeah. that. I mean. But sort of in that vein, like, is there any actor that you want to see play against type that, you know, that, like, maybe is known for one thing? You just, yeah. You, you just want to see them play the other side of the coin. For totally. One. Great Easy question. Sell. I've got one. Go. You've got you, no, one, no, too? You, yeah, I totally got one. Go so ahead. just saw Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. The movie warmed my entire heart. Love oh. it so much. How many Pittsburgh shots were? Because I still haven't seen it yet. I'm, you're going to go this gonna love it. Okay. You're going to love it. Tom Hanks, I want to, him to be the ultimate villain. Give it to me. Mm-hmm. What you got? Like, I want him to be the next Thanos type thing. Let him be the big bad, or even more than that, like uh, a Charlize Theron monster. Like, turn him into a Ooh. psychopath. Give it to me. Interesting. What can he do? Um, ha- has he ever done that? Listen, I, I, I haven't been here for a couple weeks, and this is what you give me on the last phone call? Tom Hanks? America's sweetheart? What do my you new got? best friend? Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd against type. He's always like the sweet guy, even though Andy in Wet Hot American Summer is a total dick. Yeah, right. Which is pretty right. funny. I was say. Did you watch his show? Uh, it, no, not yet. I watched the so, pilot. So good. Is I it? watched the pilot yeah. and I wasn't I didn't love, crazy so about I didn't the love pilot. the pilot, but okay. I thought it was so good by okay. the end. And it's a quick binge, too. So is he but, playing against character in it? Well, because well, he's two different. Right. Th- there's two different types, at least. Okay. Yeah, it's fun. Okay. When okay. he turns dickish. Interesting. What do you Paul got, Riley? Anything for Riley? Yeah, I, I can't stop thinking about your Tom Hanks now. I think yeah. that's a brilliant call. Thank it you so good. much. Wouldn't it be great I, if he was Lex Luthor? That would be wild. Come on! Do you think he can do it? Oh, 100%. 100% he could do it. Tommy boy. <laughs> does Tom Hanks want to play against type? Or does he just look for like he could do whatever he wants hero, cross the board, I'm going to, you know, my ship? No, F you. It's my ship back. You know, he's going to play yeah. these guys, these normal guys. What? Heroic. Like Captain Sully. Phillips. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, sorry not Sully, <laughs> yes. Captain Phillips is yeah. what, yeah. Thank did you. you. Do you think that Tom Hanks, after seeing uh, Mr. Rogers, did you see it yet? I haven't seen yeah, it. I'm going to see it this week before I head out of town. Um, did you, do you think he... Gets nominated for an Oscar. Yeah. Okay. He's so good. And the movie's okay. so good. I think Matthew Reese should be nominated for the movie, though. He's, I mean, he, the fact that he never won for the Americans is total Egregious, bummer. Disgusting. Wait, no, he did win. He, uh, she didn't win. Carrie. She didn't win. He did win. She, they were both nominated yeah, a bunch of times. She didn't win. Which is shocking because she should have won as well. It was the final season that he won, right? Yeah, and yeah, she yeah. didn't. Yeah. Rude. It's totally rude. Cody, any people that you want to see play against type? I love movies. <laughs> Gosh, good call. I love movies. Nick Cage? It's Keanu Reeves. Oh. 
Yikes. I forget who are. You guys know I can't tell. I Roxanne. can't tell. I've been using that, 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 that sound bite for a while. Doesn't it sound like Nicholas Cage? To K. your room. No. Roxanne. No. Sounds like. <laughs> but did you guys Jeremy. see. I love movies. <laughs> he kind of did. I love Against movies. type. It is totally With call you my, uh, Call me by your name? Call, no, that's no, no, not maybe. Keanu is it romantic? Reeves. No, no, what's the... That is not... I don't Always know be shit. my maybe. I don't know shit, and Keanu Reeves is not in Call Me By Your Name. No, uh, he's not. I'm no, just, all I'm saying, be always maybe. be my maybe. Always be my maybe. He played... Wow, Riley got it wrong. <laughs> Yeah. Riley. Oh, shocker. Riley, you thought he was Army Hammer. <laughs> That's so silly. No, no, no. Roxy, I actually didn't. Alex, what do you got? Uh, going off Knives Out, let's do Daniel Craig. Uh, what do so you want to like, see him do? Oh boy. As a bad guy. Um, okay. He, yeah, he's yeah. kind of got that look. Yeah, he's Layer cake. Yeah, they hated that answer, Alex. Yeah. Jeez. Layer oh, cake. Fuck off. Oh, God. We didn't do any girls. I know. I was thinking about that, but I can't think. Like, Julia Roberts as a badass villain. Well, she's sort of as villainous in Homeland. A little bit. I guess I didn't get to that point. I mean, I guess, nah, it's not, I mean, not when, really. When is Julia she's Roberts? Really, she's just real quiet in that movie. She's so, like, calculated. Oh, a movie. No, in the TV show. You talking when? about Homecoming? Homecoming. Oh, I was like, in Homeland? No. When Homecoming? Did... Homecoming, the, the Amazon show. I literally oh, I thought you were talking about the Claire Danes show. I no, was like, no, no. when did she come That's in? That's what I was like, wow, yeah. she come into, like, season yeah. six or something? I was thinking, like, have Rebel Wilson play against, like, the Rebel Wilson character. That'd like, be cool. You know what I mean? I, or Although she was very different in Jojo Rabbit. Yes, she was. Josh, when are you back with us again? You're not Wednesday. here tomorrow. You're here Wednesday. Correct. But Darina is here tomorrow. I'm yes. here tomorrow. Riley's here tomorrow. Yes. Somebody else, probably. We'll figure it out. Me? Guys, we're... Cody. Alex? Cody. Cody. And Alex. <laughs> here every day. Just forget uh, about us. It's Roxy. Cool. Everyone else in the office. Rox hey Sandra. I don't usually, though, but I did in this very moment. Guys, don't forget to go to heroesvillains.com. 10% off. And if you are on Monday right now, Cyber Monday, it's a 45% off with our 10%. So it's 35 plus 10, 45% off, guys. Heroesvillains.com. Get some cool swag. Use what the code you... Live10. Live10. What are you doing with your finger? I'm, do, I'm You're just reading making along? The creases. Yeah, I was reading along. Guys, the... follow Matt Josh Makuga. He's the makuga I've ever seen him before. <laughs> uh, thank wow. you, Mark High Riley, price. and the guys that I could never forget about. Cody Hall, Alex oh, Marzonia. I'm Rocky Strauss. See you guys tomorrow morning for Collider Live. <laughs> <laughs>